you're live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another stream. Uh, hopefully, everybody caught my um, my premiere that I just had. Uh, if you haven't, then um, you will be unsurprised to know that I have two new copyright strikes that are both <laughs> bogus. Um, a duo of idiots that uh, they fraud it together. They struck two of my videos within about 15 minutes of each other. So big coincidence there. That wasn't coordinated by them, was it? No, not at all. I can't uh, imagine that was a coincidence. Right. So um, I did the counter notifications and got the notification this morning that the counter notifications were sent to them. So basically, I've already won. Yay. Um, their chances are, are they're, they're two, they have two choices. They either just let the videos go back up or they sue me. My yep. pref my strong preference uh, that I stated in my premiere that just happened is please, 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 please sue me. Yeah. You can crowdfund it from your subscribers because they're idiots, so they'll pay. <laughs> I'll fund it out of pocket. I will make the pledge that up to, let's say, let's pick a number, up to $10,000 in lawyer expenses, I'll come out of pocket before I ask a single subscriber for a single penny. Please, for the love of God, sue me. I'm sick of you idiots copyright striking me and then being cowards and not suing me. Yeah, so there you go. SGV News and Pedro Libre Audits, please sue me. And why did you put pedo in your name? Weird. Weird. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. That he really no. Did. That's his channel name, Pedro Libre Audits. Like, I, what I, does I, that word mean to him? I, I don't know, but it means cringe. Party. <laughs> and the Thank opposite you. of cringe, we have Google a cat. Google says Google says it means fart-free audits. So I guess considering he's an asshole and his mouth is constantly spitting shit, it seems re reasonable. Oh my god! How did these guys come up with these names? I don't right? know. Mental illness. Is how uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> right. I'm with Natalie. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's kind of like the uh, the auditor who calls himself Press On. I'm like, you named yourself after like dime store ladies fake fingernail. Right? Yeah. Like <laughs> what? The cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the commercials from back in the eighties, the Lee press on nails. Mm. So anyway, that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're here for some uh, sovereign citizen insanity. So uh, apparently Anna Von Reitz is trying to tell everybody how to uh, change their status, whatever in the blue hell that means. Yeah. So I think everybody had has gotten the video ahead of time and maybe had a chance to. I got a website. It. I didn't get a video. A, no, so. there's no video. It's a website. Oh, yeah. The, well, the, uh, the, the website. So I do have from a similarly situated group, though. If you guys want, oh, oh yeah, they're very, very, sure. they're very, very short, very sweet, but they're cool. chock full of cringe. Maybe oh, let's start with that before we jump into the deep end. Let's, yeah. Well, the, well, the, the, the videos are from like <laughs> because these are sovereign citizens, they are fractured in and of themselves, right? So, this is another, a separate group, but basically are almost a one-to-one -one carbon copy of the the group that um marvel girl sent to us mm -hmm. so you can check out the website first and i'll and i'll bring up the videos right quick okay right so basically the is it i think it was opt told me anna's behind the whole website right i did not tell you that who told me that kick somebody told me anna von Reitz was behind it that so, may have been me i'm I, not I, sure I was providing some info on that. I was yeah. actually digging. And if you look at the about section um, for their purpose for creating the site, if you scroll down just a little bit, there it is. Her picture, her name, and a big old letter of absolute word salad. Just <laughs> Of so. course. It's Anna. I look at this Evangeline person, and that seems like it's a pseudonym. Is that her real name? It looks like it's her real name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but what they did was they created this website that looks legitimate. Um, it does. 
And it's not a bad website, to be quite frank. No, well, it's yeah. actually pretty scary. It's not a bad website at all. Exactly. It looks legitimate. The New Mexico Assembly.com website looks legit. And if you Google her name and put the word lawyer at the end, that's the first thing that pops up. Oh, but when you click on her and you scroll down, you see the right angle or rather the 45 degree red thumbprint on the paperwork and mm -hmm. all all legitimacy goes out the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And yeah. no government entity is going to be .com. It'll always be .gov. Right. Or, or, it'll never be .com. But, but I had to go look at that, and I was just like, this this could easily fool someone. Like, this is scary, you know? Yep. Yeah, when I clicked scary. on it, I was like, this, only because I know about sovereign citizens, am I any, any way better than, like, not better than, but, you know, more acute than somebody else who doesn't know about this that looks so legit. I would believe it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I got an email from uh, what I thought was Verizon the other day and it looked so legit. I was about to do what the email said to do mm. before I thought, hold on. And then once you look like one layer deeper yeah, and you start to look at the URL yep. and, um, a lot. This is what uh, a lot of times clues me in when you can tell mm -hmm. that it's not quite an English speaker. Yep. Yeah. It sounds like somebody uh, maybe from uh, Eastern Europe or right. India or something like that. When it says like um, Nigeria, uh, even right. Yeah. Instead of um, send, uh, you know, send payment now it'll say send now payment right or just send payment right well, you it, know it it's just not quite right mm -hmm. to the way that that we speak and write english so I've, I've you gotta really got to really be yeah. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was say, I've literally gotten to the point where anytime a billing thing comes up, I just like natively log into the website and check it out from there. Right. <laughs> I don't click on the login now from the emails. I've gotten so paranoid. Well, Jim yeah. Browning lost his channel. Yeah. He did. Yeah. What happened to him? His channel. I missed. He that. got one of these. So he got. Go well, the, uh, to to give you the the very 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 short answer, mm -hmm. these guys were able to figure out a way to send an email to some to Jim Browning using an actual at google.com account. And oh. then from there, that uh, that was like the biggest top layer that he was able to get, he was tricked by. And from mm -hmm. there, what that happened was, it was basically, the long and short of it, it was a scheme to try and take over his account and thereby take over his revenue. But he it got to the point where he ended up deleting his channel because that was par part of the process of them taking it over right but by the time he deleted the channel he figured it out that it was a scam and youtube was able to re restore his channel oh, uh, like God. nothing ever happened yeah. but oh, it got to that it. point where he ended up deleting his channel by being convinced by these guys because they initially sent the email using an actual at google.com uh domain name which is not apparently the they, they, he's not the only one they fooled no, the yeah, spiffy Brit got his deleted, and another mm -hmm. guy got his. Another like large YouTuber got deleted. He's like, got like this, a million and a half subs, right? Yeah, the, they it was specifically targeted at multi-million subscriber channels, right? Um, so, the, so he's making probably Dang. yeah, yeah, tens he's of thousands of dollars a month. Oh yeah, you know, so, so, I mean, I mean that, that's the, that's a big hit. Yeah. yeah. And he he knows this kind of thing, you know. So it's amazing they got to him. If he get, if they right. get him to do that, anybody, e every everybody's yeah. susceptible to it. Like I said, I've almost gotten. You know, I was within probably thirty seconds of clicking on a link that who knows Same. what have, what would have happened. Same. Somebody got me on Twitter. I don't know. I still don't know how they got me, but someone got me on Twitter. And I still don't know why, because it's like I don't even have a large Twitter following. My Twitter following is super small. I barely do anything on there. And someone got into my Twitter account, changed my password, and locked mm. me out of it. And like I could see that it was like something, something, something at, and I could see the extension that the new email was for. And I could see that the email was based in Atlanta, Georgia, and that was it. And I had wow. to like, process to get my Twitter account back, but 
the weirdest part of it was that they didn't do anything with it when they <laughs> got in there. Right. I, I think maybe they were hoping to find something, maybe some like, you know, pictures or bad tweets. Yeah. I, you know, really my Twitter is just foolishness. So I, I feel like they were just like, oh, this is boring and, and moved along, but right. it inconvenienced me. You know? Yeah, but, I, I, I've always said that, like people that, that are digging into my past, because I've had uh, certain other YouTubers talk about, oh, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna find dirt on you. I was yeah. like, the only thing you're gonna find is a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? Oh, Just guess a, what? Cliff likes guns and four wheelers. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a quick IT moment for everybody out there. Uh, change your passwords to more than twelve characters, uppercase, yes. lowercase, special characters. Like Do not make right? them any personal information. Turn on two factor authentication. And mm. for a final note, which Jim Browning, the man who knows all about these things. The reason he got caught is because they sent it through Google Chat, which uh, K-Rab, I know Cliffy is going to look at the supers here, but Google will send you a legitimate message if you have notifications turned on. Mm -hmm. And so it avoids the whole spoofing email and the, the normal routes. So if anything is questionable, contact the vendor, contact your credit card, your mm -hmm. bank, whatever, directly. Mm -hmm. Don't ever do anything through email like that um, yeah right that's what i was him. saying i just natively log into like anything anymore when i get an email like hey your account's messed up like okay i'll by log way, in cliff go ahead sorry by the way schrodinger you're getting a request for slow mode in the chat oh okay it's something that i now know how to do yay yay, yay. look yeah, how fancy um, i am jim browning made a point to say that the fact that he he had uh Two factor would have also have saved him had he not at that at that point um, realized that they were trying to get after him. Uh, so uh, enabling two factor is just an absolute must nowadays. It yeah, it, I'm it's just a, so lazy about it, you know. I know. I hate that. It's definitely a pain in the ass, but it's a necessary pain. You get in the all ass. these like uh, are all, like authorized like apps. Like I think I have three different ones for different programs. But yeah. I have Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator for what? work, and another What's one. That? I have a Blizzard Authenticator and Blizzard and Steam. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Is that? <laughs> Google, Google. Uh, some some uh, websites uh, use a, an app called Google Authenticator. Like mm -hmm. for example, um, EA, like uh, EA Origin, that I mm -hmm. use Google uh, uses Google Authenticator, and you use it from there. Some other companies, some other vendors have their own in-house authenticator, like for example, Blizzard does, and Steam has their own. And what it does is that what it, when you try to log into a new machine, it'll send a, it'll send an, uh, a notification on your phone, uh, and ask you to confirm that it's you that's trying to log in. Uh, and yeah, and so that's what point. the apps do. Okay, yep. so, so what what we do at work, because you know it's government and we all have security clearances and shit, is there's a little chip that plugs into your USB. Keep yeah, and nice. then you, yeah, then you have a fob, and that code changes every thirty seconds. Yep. Oh, neat. So, My mom had a key fob uh, yeah. when she was in, inside. So nice. you you plug it into your computer. So you have to have the the thing, and you have to have the code. Um, but ideally, what we talk about in in security is um, something that you are like a fingerprint or a retina scan. Um, and something that you know, and something that you have. If huh? those three things, so you have an ID card, you have a mm -hmm. fingerprint, and mm -hmm. you know a password. Oh. That's that's when you get that's, yeah, that's a lot that's, for home. Yeah, yeah, but well, I'm talking about like when I was working yeah. at JSOC, you know, and I had to, I had my ID card. I, mean, kinda. <laughs> I had to, I had to punch in a pin, and I had to scan my fingerprint to right. get into the building. You have a little blood so, and yeah. Yeah. Well, the, no, for everybody's a teacher. They're, they're, <laughs> a lot of people are going to retina scanners now. Wow. Which mm -hmm. are, I don't like that. I don't like that. No. I don't like that. No. My out. Don't do it. No. <laughs> I just feel like if I'm really that important, somebody will literally take my eye out. Like, I'm yeah, right? <laughs> This is only slightly worse than having your finger cut off. It is. You know, I, I, I can 
do without a digit. It's my eye. I really need that. Please, let's not do the ocular verification. Yeah. yeah. I, I did play the remake of Doom, and I don't want anybody ripping off my head to shove it up against the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you're referring to. Movies, yeah. yeah. So do you see the the chat on the screen, guys? Uh, let's see. Please cover Glencer's first, first court date. Um, somebody said they were going to that. Who was it? Don't know. Uh, I saw a video the other day that somebody said they were going to his court date. I looked for the audio. It's not on the um, Facebook page. No, Thanks. but it's on the uh, court page. I have it up. I have his sentencing up. Do you, can you play it? On? Uh, I don't know if I can play it per se, but I can shoot you a link for it. Yeah, that'd be great. I'll play it. So he's facing a uh, few days. days in. Oh, God, please let him go to jail. Can you imagine? Current, what's this current court case for with Glenn? This, this is, is the. Um, Glenn Serio. This is the, yeah. the reckless driving. The harass oh, the, the harassment. Driving one? I don't know. One of the two. We'll find out in a second. Oh, okay. it's, this is his sentencing, not his trial or anything like right. that. Right. Okay. He, he, he pled guilty. Um, yeah. Yeah, he pled guilty to he reckless would, driving, yeah. right? Yeah. This yeah. is after he said that he would leave the country rather than be found guilty. Right. <laughs> Mar yeah. Marvel yeah. Girl, if you go down, if you scroll on the PDF on the page, if you go down to number four, that's him. You can just click like the timestamp so it jumps ahead and isn't One, two, like three four motion without testimony uh assault fourth degree no no city of everett after it yeah play reckless driving gotcha yeah, there thank you, go. you. Mm -hmm. all right so let I, me I, to you. I love it when people make these claims like i'm gonna leave the country <sighs> as if that's just an easy thing to do right like a lot of people don't understand how the world works. They're like, I'll just leave the country. Yeah. That's not that's not how that works. So no. Okay. You ready? Oh wait, wait, wait. I did it wrong. My bad. Wait, keep talking. Uh wait, like I, I did oh, wrong. okay. I, I like I know somebody who's tried to immigrate to Canada and like has to literally has to come back to the States until the paperwork's done. Right. But do, do any of us believe that he even has a passport? <laughs> It's not easy to get into Canada. So. No, it's not. They will not take play. somebody who's been like in jail and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's try this. Yeah, plus Canada is probably like the easiest place in the world to get extradited from. Yeah. Like we're pretty good friends with those dudes up there. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's the other thing too. It's like you're fleeing to Canada. I mean, okay. Right. It's like a, you're, it's like a phone call away. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, you, may as, you may as well, you know, flee to South Carolina. <laughs> right, exactly. You ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Good afternoon. We are on the record. It is July 28th at 1.30. Do we have a disposition and motions calendar? I'll let the parties know my preference. My preference would be to hear the quick matters first, which I would assume are largely anything that's agreed or dispositions, and then go on to anything that's either contested or any of the substantive motions uh at toward the end uh i will leave it to the parties to tell me what is ready of any of those quick matters mr lawrence you were the first to stand up all right i have uh yusuf uh Hager yusuf who is entry of a do you have a time yeah stamp well yeah you need to put it over at an yeah. hour and three an hour right. and three okay that's what i was asking because it Thank looks like you. it's two hours and 20 minutes so yeah yeah, it's not that's not the whole thing like that's the entire docket and whatnot yeah right right like there. four like uh 105 34 is allegedly when glenn's case starts okay okay One and what? that's what they're talking about 105 yep. yeah because he I has he right has there. a contested hearing that's what he's doing oh okay good that's even better this is him yeah mm. and the volume's good too i'm yeah. Yeah. happy about that i'm gonna start it here because i I'm afraid I can't do it. Southeast ever, my way. Let's try a little bit. Uh, Just click hard. on the blue link there. No. All right, I'll try motion again. Filed by Mr. Jones. Okay, there you go. To Thank you. Basically, it's a motion to dismiss uh, judgment notwithstanding the verdict. Uh, he what? filed that back in May. Is there anything? I didn't receive a response from the city in regards to that. 
was I did I miss anything or does the city have anything for me to consider? I don't have any written materials, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jones, what we're going to do, since this is on for a few things, uh, first, this is on for your motion to set aside the verdict. If you're unsuccessful in that, then it comes on for a contested hearing. Well, it comes on as a contested hearing either way for the failure stop at a stop sign, and then it would um, move into sentencing. So, since this is your motion, I will let you hear from you first. Thank you. May I pull my mask on to talk, Your Honor? It's so hard to hear. Uh, no. Oh, all right. oh. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I can hear you fine as long as you use the microphone. May it please the court. This, I, I don't know. This has been a while. The case was, when it came to trial, was already, I believe, was a trial. months old because of all the delays that had come up. I think it had been continued 10 times. And up to that point, up to the point he was charged, which was several months earlier, he was only charged with failure to stop. I am i don't know if your honors, is your honor familiar with the area where this occurred? So I, I am. Can abbreviate my comments a bit. Yeah, I am familiar. All right, thank you. In any event, Mr. Serio left the junior college. He was uh, following another, apparently a student, we don't know, but from the north parking lot, and that car was well, We know he wasn't there for school. Very slowly. Right. Mm -hmm. According to the testimony, <laughs> primarily from Mr. Serio, at, he had a suspicion the other car was having mechanical problems because of how irregular and slow it was driving. So he, oh, shoot. Um, the officer testified that um, He's incorrectly being a good that the speed good limit Samaritan? was 15 miles an hour. It's not, it's 25. It's one block from his office. I don't know why he would make, would have made a mistake about the speed limit, but in any event, he, he has an office? No. Did, and most importantly, testify that that wasn't a, a, an issue because uh, with a 15 mile an hour speed limit, Mr. Serio never exceeded it. I think the now, tree that he sleeps under, he refers to as his office. It was driving very slowly. <laughs> they got to the stop at uh, Rainier, which is a couple blocks from Broadway. Both of them Marble, stopped. The, the officer couldn't actually the see them at that, that point. They both went sorry, forward through the intersection. Kid. I'm sorry, kid. Go ahead. The office that he's talking about is the office for, I'm guessing, either the security or the officer that was there. Oh, okay. Not Glenn. Thanks. Oh, okay. And for about oh, 100, 120 feet either side of the intersection, there's there's a yellow line on either side of the center two light uh, turn lane, alerting you that you're not to pull out the pass until you get beyond it. Well, Mr. Serio had been somewhat trapped behind this other car all the way through the community college and getting there at the slow rate. And as soon as he got to that beyond the, he thought, beyond the, the yellow lines, he pulled out to pass the other vehicle. There was no other uh, traffic on the road, none testified to by any of the parties, any of the witnesses. Um, he passed lawfully uh, around the vehicle in a passing zone and uh, according to the officer, never exceeded the speed limit. When my client reached the top of the hill, he stopped at the next stop sign completely, according to his testimony. The officer uh, followed him and stopped him for failure to stop at that stop sign, failed to make a complete stop. Uh, they, are, they disagreed about that, and my client was written a ticket, which we've not yet to hear. Uh, because it was an infraction and not a misdemeanor at the original trial. But we've heard Mr. all the same testimony so before the court. Um, I'm sorry, what? Now, I was saying that disagree is a really mild way yeah. of, you know, you know, he didn't just right. disagree. No. We've seen <laughs> right. the video. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've seen the video up. <laughs> he acted a fool. <laughs> yeah, he did. That's, that's, the, that's the defense attorney, though, you know, you got to, yeah. like, you gotta yeah. try to be like, oh, he disagreed with it, even though portray yeah, it in the best the possible tools. light. Called him yeah. a liar and all that crap. Right, <laughs> right. I'm. So, I I believe I remember him when he passed. It was not a passing zone. I remember the cops saying it was a double yellow line. I think. And there's so much Glenn material out there. It's yeah. hard to even remember. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll let it go. <laughs> At that point, my client pulled out. And went another five blocks to the next four-way stop where he observed the officer now coming with emergency lights over the top of the hill having passed 
the previous stoplight, stop sign that he had, he believed and, and testified that he had stopped at, and the officer was driving very fast. So he stopped and waited, as you're supposed to do. And the officer, rather than passing him, pulled in behind him with his emergency lights on. It's this called a traffic the, stop. Why are they, why, yeah, why does he keep saying about the emergency lights? Right. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter if you go, you know, five feet or five miles past where the incident takes place. Right. right. Like, I, I have a, um, a cousin who's a, a sergeant in the sheriff's department, and he tells the younger guys, the, the newer cops, like, you don't have to immediately stop somebody when you observe an infraction. You can follow them, run their tags, do your due diligence, and then pull them over. Mm -hmm. like a, a, yeah. a lot of a lot of new cops feel like they have to immediately stop the car, mm -hmm. and the more veteran cops will tell you, "No, that like like get your bearings about you first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I think it's safer to run the tags first because they know who they're dealing with at least. Right. right? It could be a yeah. stolen car. It could yeah. be um, there could be an amber alert associated with that car. Like there's so many things that you might need to know before I, you pull that car over. Oddly enough, I actually had to look up case law and I found it in Ohio where it says that an officer doesn't have to immediately pull you over upon witnessing an infraction. Right. Like, Cause this actually came up in a motion to suppress we had. Wow. I actually, um, as defense counsel, prefer it when they um, know who they're pulling over. I think mm -hmm. it um, it kind of changes the tenor of the traffic stop. Right. Yeah. You know, like they're more calm instead of like, and it makes them hold the the suspect or the motorist for less time. Yeah. Because they're not wasting all that time running all the information while they're writing the ticket. So I right. think they do their due diligence ahead of time. Yeah. yeah, it's safer Great. for everybody if they know who they're dealing with. I agree. Absolutely. The thing is, this is a bench hearing, right? Mm -hmm. so this is, yeah, did... but apparently this was a jury trial. It was a trial. It, it was yeah, a trial, it, at least. Yeah, yeah but, but this is a this hearing is... after the trial in front of... Yes. Yeah. He, right. The, the judge in question, the judge in question did, was the one who found Glenn guilty. Okay. Right. So who cool. does, who does Glenn's uh, counsel think that he's fooling? Because the judge mean, is going to be like, oh, five blocks after the The incident, only reason I thought it was you know? a jury trial is because he filed a motion to set aside the verdict. Right. That's that's what this motion hearing is for. He wants right. to, he wants to set aside the verdict. <laughs> in front of the judge. In, in front of the judge who, who <laughs> found, found him guilty. guilty in the first place. Right. right. <laughs> that's why I was saying, I'm like, was it a jury trial? Because, like, otherwise this is dumb. It what is you, dumb. No, it's just dumb. Oh, well, okay, you know, it's just dumb. That's fine. Wouldn't you say that Glenn insisted that he try it? Though? Probably. Probably. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. All right. Uh, thoroughfare. So Mr. Uh, Serio turned the corner to the right, went to the first marked park, available marked parking stall and pulled over and, and waited for the officer. Now, this is at 12th Street and Maple. That's what the citation cited him for that he received for reckless driving. That's what your honor read to the jury, the complaint that says that on November 15th at 12th Street in Maple in the city of Everett, he committed the crime of reckless driving. That's what he was tried for. And that's what you read to them at the time of trial. However, the jury instructions that went back to them uh -oh. merely said- It was a jury. Sometime on that day- Okay, 15th, so then the judge presided over it then. Committed, yeah. Yeah, that makes so much more sense. It was a jury. I was gonna okay. say because you don't file a motion to set aside, you just file a motion for a new trial. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm confused. What are you guys talking about? So this is a motion for a judgment notwithstanding the verdict, J N O V. And mm -hmm. that's and it wouldn't make sense if there was a judge because literally the it's it's telling a J N O V is telling the judge to set aside what the jury did. Yeah. Okay. So if he had had a bench trial then there's no jury for the judge to go against, basically. And this would be weird. Yeah, it's, like, it's mechanically, it wouldn't make any sense. So that's why OTP's uh, question made so much sense to me, and I was so confused. But yeah, it was a jury trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah that the, does the, make better sense. The judge, yeah, I was confused. The judge presided mm -hmm. over the, the trial. That's, that's right. what it was. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm happy to announce that we have a troll in the uh, chat. So, um, hello, R.I.M.C. 
who is calling me scrotum's cat. That's very, very original. So original. Yeah. yeah. So it got just, a giggle out of me. Let let's um Ignore. reiterate the rules yeah, for no. moderation. Yeah. If it's not racist, sexist, bigoted, homophobic, or threats of physical violence, we don't uh, time people out. We do battle with them. So yeah. have at them, but don't. Throw yeah. Them out. Welcome. Have our, at the. Yes. Um, have a good time here. Uh, yeah. Good sir, but or try to madam. Come up with something more original. Yeah, yeah I mean, really you need to you need to dig, dig deeper. If you need help, just let me know. Dig, dig real deep <laughs> in your colon. Did, Natalie, did you just say? Was that you that just said that? What? <laughs> did you just say that's what she said? Yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. I'm so. I'm so proud of you. Good for you, Nat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's keep rolling. All right. The reckless driving. Based on that, the jury found him guilty. But there was no evidence that there was any, any impropriety that occurred as he was charged at 12th Street and Maple. None. What? Uh, in mm. fact, I don't believe he was even moving at that intersection. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just because he had pulled over already? Is that what he's saying? I he's think saying he's, yeah, go ahead. He's saying that there was no evidence of actually reckless driving um, and that he just he simply pulled over when the cop like put his lights on, I think. But the cop said it was from earlier. Yeah, so and I guess on the citation he wrote at the location of the actual stop, oh, okay, not the location you. where he observed the actual okay. reckless driving. That would be a distinction without a difference because he right. observed him reckless driving it's it's in or around that location even when it comes to like date sometimes it's on or about the date so it's just like that's not much of an argument but okay okay and you. without having seen the jury trial i think we have to assume that the officer would have said exactly where the infraction happened on the stand right right Thanks. Well, a, a question for Natalie, you know, being a defense attorney, when all you have is straws, isn't kind of, as a defense attorney, grasping at straws your job? Yeah. yeah. This is, yeah. Oh, the, the defense attorney is totally just doing his job. Right. right. Totally just okay. doing his job. I mean, that's what you do at the end of an unsuccessful jury trial. You do a motion to set aside the verdict. And then your argument is that the jury's verdict was inconsistent with the evidence or the law or both, you know, and. A lot of times that motion is crap, but you got to make it. <laughs> right, exactly. Especially if your client is demanding it. Yeah, right? exactly. yeah. You gotta, you gotta, gotta be. You gotta channel your inner uh, Saul Goodman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. In cases like this, Saul does this type of stuff gleefully. He loves. It. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I, I want that guy. If I'm ever in trouble, I want Saul Goodman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that where the term "going through the motions" comes from? I wonder. Uh, Probably. I that's a good one, Cliff. That's, that's a good really question. All right, here we go. Speaking of Cliff, is is it a good time for super chats? Do we have some? Do you want to listen to the rest of this first? Oh, it's it's a long one. So. Um, all right, wait. Then let me that's what she it. said. Okay. Yep. <laughs> So you would have to deal with every day. <laughs> I started it. <laughs> she did. She did. I can't be blamed. No, I can't be mad at them. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Ziggy for the facts for five dollars says I'd fund it for them to sue you to point and laugh. Mm -hmm. Oh no! I, I was telling my wife earlier. I was like, I will pay for their lawyer if they will just agree to sue me. <laughs> like, I'll fund both sides of the case. Hmm. Uh, K Rap for five dollars says the email to Jim Browning was sent through Google Chat, which is how it got the Google address. Uh, uh, Cinda Lucian for five dollars says I did authenticators for everything when my FX FFXIV account got stolen. Have them for everything now. Okay. Uh, Oh, I just remembered who I got the suspicious email from. It was um, uh, MOV AVI sent me an email saying that they wanted to sponsor, um, they wanted to run ads on my channel, and they were making me offers to pay. And I was just reading through it, and it just didn't sound like an English speaker. So I went to the real, uh, I Googled MOV AVI, which is a, it's a video player. 
And that didn't, even though their shit looked so real, the actual site didn't look anything like the site that they had built. And that's how I finally figured out. Plus, it just didn't sound like English speakers. That's how I figured that out. But it was so close. You got to be really careful. Yeah, for sure. Um, K Rab for $5 says Jim also contacted the vendor the scammer used, and they said the guy was already under investigation. Good. Yeah. Uh, Fog Repair Ship Akashi for $2 says Natalie is afraid of her eye being liberated by Loki. <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> I just got that reference. <laughs> Back to the whole eye identification thing. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Pistulka for five dollars says Schrodinger changed perk level name from Got Reasons to Got Issues, and I will subscribe. LOL. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, K Rab for five dollars says Glenn told the judge he had a job, so he only got a few days. To the lawyers, will this violate his probation? It could be contempt, couldn't it? Uh, if he didn't actually have a job when he said he did, his probation officer would point that out to the judge. But he'll claim that that YouTube is his job. Oh, he, okay, well, hold on. I just have a question about this fact pattern. Was he on probation at the time that he said that he had a job? When did he say he had a job? Probably at sentencing. At sentencing, yeah, I think we're Unless gonna hear it here. Oath, there is no repercussion for him. Yeah, it's there's nothing that would happen. Unless he was under oath at the time, there's no nothing would happen to him. Actually, we do swear in defendants like at plea and at sentencing, though. So yeah. you never know. Some places do that. Some judges do that in my jurisdiction. Most of them don't, because you know. For the most part, the defendant doesn't have to say anything. So right. Ooh, what happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, Bill Pastulka, new member. Welcome to Window Smashers. Oh, thank you. Uh, wow, P well, that's a new one. God, I love your tear, Dave. I love say. that. Cool. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's a product of Tina, not me. So I can't take any credit. That's great. Cool. That's your first Window Smasher. Nice. Nice. Uh, Bill Pastilka for ten dollars says, "I still train law enforcement officers, and the training is about as bad as corporate sensitivity training." <laughs> uh, Brand of Ham ninety four for five dollars says, "Hey Schrodinger, that sucks. Your channel got flagged. Of course, cowards like SGV News would do that. Can't wait to laugh at more of their idiocy." Yeah, it, it's the, it's the cost of doing business. Um, these paragons of free speech, they really hate free speech. Right? No. There right. You go. So guess what? He's going to get the PayPal Patty uh, treatment. When my video is put back up, and it's really a more matter of when than if, I'm going to invite everybody I know to mirror it on their own channels. Yay. That'll be fun. Fun, fun. Okay. So, yeah, th that's just going to be the penalty going forward on my channel. If you flag one of my videos, when it goes back up, it's going to be everywhere. I think it's just because you want us all to get strikes, but, you know, that's right. Well, you know. I haven't got one of these yet. Of course, I don't do anything, but still. Well, it's <laughs> funny. Uh, PayPal Patty struck a whole bunch of people's uh, mirrors of my video when it went back up, but he didn't, he didn't strike Artie. No, I know, right? Funny that. I, I feel kind of, either. I feel kind of cheated. Yeah. Like, am I, am I not good enough for you? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> right. Great of you already. Yeah, he didn't strike the real lawyer or the potential lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> and I've made about three or four videos about him since, and he has not struck me again ever since uh, he got that cease and desist for my lawyer. I guess mom found out that he was using her name to maybe channels. Maybe I would she love to be a fly on the him. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That would be amazing to watch. Um, Cinda Lucian for $10 says the way cliff read that and no reaction from anyone. No one are gamers. Final fantasy 14 for those who don't game. Yeah. I thought it might be final fantasy, but I didn't know. So yeah, not a, not gamer. a gamer. Yeah. 
My husband's a gamer. He could probably come in here and talk about that with you. He's playing Final Fantasy right now. I don't get it. I don't I play in Final Fantasy RPGs, in years, but... so. Mm -hmm. eh. The only thing I've gotten out of Final Fantasy is that homeboy's sword is way too big for the size of his body, and that's about it. <laughs> That's what she said. I knew that was coming on that one, especially. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Steven Measure for $5 says, Free Glen Serio, Attica, Attica. <laughs> a phrase that has never been said by anyone ever. Anyone ever, ever. <laughs> right? yeah. Oh, Glenn is free. You can free him. You can free him somewhere the fuck else. Right. <laughs> That's what I thought when he said he was going to leave the country. I'm like, who would take you? Please leave. Like, Please leave. Yeah. yeah. Please leave. Okay. Uh, Wonder Woman Goddess of Truth for $10 says, until the scammers home countries go after them legally and criminally and put them down in a way, it will be a game of whack-a-mole. If YouTubers can find them, their countries definitely can. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. JP Linjon for $5. No message. Thank you. Uh, inflatable KMH for $10. To Bosscat and the other panelists, how would you handle the situation if a frauditor came up to you with their camera got up, all up in your business? I always wondered this. Uh, I, would I would plug my channel. I would either taunt them relentlessly or just pull up some copyrighted music yeah, on my phone and blast exactly. it. Or both. Uh, probably both at the same time. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Tell them about himself and play copyright music. Well, I right. Do it. Yeah. That's the best answer. That's what I'll <laughs> say. Mm-hmm. Because that's not what I would do, but that's what I'll say. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, what, what we, it, it's like every other situation. It's like until you're in that moment, you don't know what you would do. Yeah. I mean, I hope I wouldn't just punch him in the face, but yeah. there's, I mean, I've watched so many videos where I even said this in a video recently. I'm like, I'm, I, it was when, um, with Glenn and that soldier. And I'm like, he, he he did the right thing. He didn't punch him in the face, but but, but I wouldn't be mad at him if he did. Right. I did I'm, see uh, that COVID at once, and I did tell him about himself. So last night, Artie and I covered a um, covered a, a Karen, I think, where the husband was filming, and his wife is mm -hmm. like, "Oh, please, please mm -hmm. stop!" You yeah. know, and he's like, "No, this is funny." Um, I, I wear yeah, my I, I wear yeah, my you kick. would do that. I wear my kick hat everywhere and I wear a mask. I would go live. I would literally go live and then yeah, so live abuse you. them. Right. Yeah. On my channel. That, that That's, that's all I would do. Yeah. That, I mean, that's another option is just to record it because I've been waiting to find a Karen. Um, yeah. You know, in yeah. the wild and just record it, you know, good channel. Yeah. There was an incident recently where um, it wasn't one of my, uh, co-workers but it was a company that we work with that's another military contractor and we there was a guy he doesn't work there anymore but he's just a n notorious asshole and out where the grill area is they had a sign up that said please don't move the tables and chairs due to um, social distancing right and he somehow got it in his head that that sign was specifically targeted at him and he went to the front desk and just lost his ever-loving mind uh, to the point Jeez. where he's he's permanently banned from that hotel. What? Um, yeah, it was a residence inn in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And my buddy was in the gym at the time, and he heard the commotion. That's how loud it was. And he immediately thought, oh, shit, Cliff's going to want this for his channel. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he ran bad. out. Right. And he ran out, he started recording, but it he only caught like the very tail end of it oh. where they said, <laughs> you know, we're we're gonna call the cops if you don't, you know, calm down. And so I was like, damn it, if I could have got that. I, I don't care that he works for like a sister company, mm -hmm. that would have been on my channel. Hmm. Like I wonder they, what Artie would do. Oh, sorry. Thought you were done. Uh, go go ahead. No. What would you do if you found one Artie? What? Uh, Karen in the wild? No, like if if someone, but, but the uh, question. If you were accosted by a uh, fraudster, uh, yeah. Um, 
I would probably I'd probably get my camera out, um, start recording like the camera right in front of their face, mm. and play copyrighted music on top of it just <laughs> just for for kicks. Right. Yeah. Well, if it was a fraud, so, I would probably just tell them who I am. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Oh, and I, I would also shout out my channel. Yes. Right. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent shout out the channel. Hey, welcome back I to Keeping It Criminal. That. I am Kick, and today we've got a live one. <laughs> <Right>. yeah, <exactly. laughs> nice. In that voice and everything, I would love that. That would be yeah, so right? cool. That would, that be, would be amazing. <laughs> Especially if it was somebody like PayPal Patty, just to watch them panic. Oh. Cause yep. you know he's a he's a coward. He is definitely. Oh yeah. He is the most bitch made coward mm. in the world. <laughs> yeah. Radio yeah. silence on my end. Right. Clippy, what, Clippy, what would you do? A frauditor? Yeah, I'd just start playing copyrighted music. Mm. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, Stephen Alley for five dollars says towards Mrs. Cat's matching necklace. Oh, the matching necklace. We're oh. we're, we're on to this again. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I didn't start this time, dude. I, I, do, do you do you know the story, uh, Natalie? Yeah, I was I was uh, I think Every, here yeah. right after you'd gotten it or something. Oh well, it was the bracelet. Now, um, it, it, she didn't even say anything. It's these people that claim to be my subscribers who secretly hate me and want me to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now yeah. they want me to buy the matching necklace that goes with. Our, uh, yeah, the matching necklace to match the four thousand dollar. It was not four thousand dollars. You stop that. I know how much it was. What, what was it? Was it twenty nine hundred? No, it was, it was too not. Much. It was three thousand nine hundred. Mm -mm. I have the receipt, woman. He paid for it. Maybe with tax. Maybe with tax, but it cost twenty nine hundred. It did not cost twenty nine hundred. Okay. I'm calling you out, okay. and I'm pulling I'm up the receipt. Maybe the one I put, picked out was twenty nine hundred. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I, 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 I this have... one thing. I could be wrong. That's used car money. I know. Yeah. That's what I said. I could have bought a car. Much prettier than a used car. I bought a 2002 that. Toyota Camry V6 for that. This is prettier. All right, go on. And had money left over. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Where uh, were we in this glad thing anyway? No, we're. We, it's we went way super off cats. on a tangent. Super yeah. Cats. We're doing super uh, chats. Yeah. Cats. JP right. Linjun. We got to stop at some point. <laughs> JP Linjun for five dollars says, "Any word on Jamal? I see you filed a seventy million dollar lawsuit. <laughs> Talk to Jamal. Girl. No. Yeah, he, he they filed a seventy million dollar lawsuit. Him and like nine of the other members of the Moors who were arrested. But OPT pointed out that uh, he lost a, a separate civil case yep. recently in a jury trial. Oh. Yeah. He, Wait, tell me, why am I missing all this stuff? Yeah, what's what are you going on? Yeah, he uh, there was a he he represented somebody who sued Massachusetts a Massachusetts state policeman. Uh, or among other departments and everything, he the, the the case was dismissed as to all the officers except for a possible um, Fourth Amendment claim against the, uh, uh, Reckless, the it was uh, excessive force. Excessive force claim. That was the only one that survived preliminary hearing. He went to trial. He lost. Uh, uh, basically, yeah, he basically lost straight up the, by yeah. in a jury trial. And I was talking to OPT, and we were debating on whether or not it'd be worth it to pull some money together to get the transcripts because he represented himself eventually. Yeah, I will be okay. in with you on that. <laughs> I will. <laughs> what? I'll, I'll I'll put some money in the pot. Yes, this is like a group effort. Let's do something with this. Right. Did, I was gonna say, how did he represent anybody? But he's representing himself. Is what you're saying? Yeah, representing oh, himself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was confused. I thought that he was um, representing someone. Me too. So there's seventy million dollar law. He's still in jail, right? No, no, no. I thought the way I thought understood the case was is that um, somebody, not Jamal, was suing the officer, right. and yeah. Jamal was as counsel, consul to this oh. Leonidas. His name is Leonidas something Bay or whatever. No. Le yeah, Leonidas. And, Leonidas? No, it's yeah, not. Leonidas with a T. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, that's, that's the actual Leonidas is the actual plaintiff. Yes, oh, he's the plaintiff. Crap. Jamal was writing up the paperwork for Leonidas, but obviously he couldn't actually represent him in the in the trial itself. Okay. But right. he was signing on the preliminary the the paperwork leading up to the trial. 
Okay. So that's what uh, that's what's going on. But ultimately, Leonidas had to do everything on his own at the trial itself. That's why we're like, okay, we might have to want to get these transcripts because it might be amazing. Uh, it so, might be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what state was it? Uh, hold on, I've Mass. got that here. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah, Wait, Massachusetts. was Rhode Island or, or Mass? It was Massachusetts. Mass. Because okay. he sued Massachusetts. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Doesn't message? Okay, never mind. Never mind. I will talk about this later, but I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> so, Tina, is it amgdebates at gmail.com? Yes. No no dots or anything? No. Okay. All right. You're going to have the receipt here in a second. And oh, you're my gonna have, God. You're going to have to say, I'm sorry. And uh, you're going to say it live, and we're all going <laughs> to point and laugh at you. A little bit. All right. It's, all in, right. Your, it's in your inbox. Uh, and I, I expect an apology and groveling. Oh my email's I'm down. It crashed. Oh, it crashed. of course it did. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Huh. I don't, actually, I don't see it yet. So, <laughs> want to keep going to the super chats? Yes, yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Hunter. For I'm going to need them because the it, it was three thousand nine hundred seventy nine dollars and six cents. Oops. So okay. wow, a, wow, wow! A lot farther away from the twenty three hundred that Tina just lied to us about. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Tom Hunter for 499 says, does anyone on the panel think that laws such as those that make police harassment a crime, Canada, Denmark, etc., will ever become law in the U.S.? They already um, have in some yeah. spots. Yeah. Uh, Texas had one on the legislature, which didn't make it out of the Senate. It went to jurisprudence. Um, I think Virginia um, has one. Um that's going through Florida's got one in the house that Artie and I talked about, uh, on mass hole report the other night, house bill 11. Um, so there, there are quite a few that are out there. It's just a matter of getting them through both the house and Senate. And that's, that's the real struggle is Ohio uh, has, it's being uh, politicized. Ohio has a bill like it too. And that's like why that. I've, I've told these auditors when I debate them, you're being counterproductive because the thing that you want, like it's fine to want more free speech, but it's the way that you do it. It's like, if I want more, you know, whatever, it's, it's fine to want something that's good and more free speech is good. Mm -hmm. But if you're going about it a way that just pisses everybody off, you're not going to get that thing that you want. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right, uh, so we got uh, Sindalucian for five dollars. Says you guys all have real lives. I'm old enough, sixty eight, right. to have time for gaming. Right. Oh, okay, my bad. I thought we were up to the next one. All right, good. Okay, just Captain Kirk for nine ninety nine. Says hi, y'all. Thanks for all you do for us, Kirk from Indiana. Yay! I love your yeah. name. Good. Yeah. Uh, Taco Josh Gaming for 250 says, I heard gaming. Did someone summon me? <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do one more and then get back to the the audio because right. I, I don't want to just get bogged down in these for too long. All right. John Thomas for $5. No message. Thank you. Okay. And I don't know where you sent it, but it didn't come to me. AMGDebates at gmail.com. That's where I sent it. Well, yeah, I didn't get it. Sorry. Yeah, sure. I swear to God, I didn't get it, dude. I wouldn't lie. I don't do that. All right, so back to. The oh next. no! I accidentally sent it to Tina is a big fat liar at gmail dot com. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You sure you didn't send it to uh, submarine windows with drips oh. at gmail dot com? Oh, I'm leaving. I'm on wow. the deep end with Tina on the whole submarine window things. Okay, oh. <laughs> I'm <left> alone. <laughs> Some Russian submarines do have windows in the conning tower, so. There you go. Yeah. Observed it. Um, and all of the testimony from the officer was that all of the observed driving was in within the speed limit, no speeding. And I realized reckless driving doesn't require speeding mm -hmm. to be uh, committed. I would point out, I've been doing this for a long time, as, as most of the people in the courtroom, and I rarely, I can't even think of an occasion where I've seen a reckless driving citation issued or found, uh, more importantly, found a guilty finding where there's not been some 
indication of improper speed or improper lane travel or some sort of improper driving. Well, you have now. The officer's only testimony was that at a different location that morning, he, Mr. Serio seemed to exhibit a, a lack of concern for other traffic. He passed a very slow moving vehicle, no other tra traffic around. Um, I don't know how the jury construed that to be reckless driving. I don't know what evidence they were relying on, but there just is reckless driving is willful and wanton disregard of safety of persons or property. The, there were no persons testified being present, although there was a walkway on either side for pedestrians, and there was a school on one side and a uh, boys club on the other, but they were closed. And although the officer also testified that there were gates at the school, there are, but they're all locked and have been locked and never are never open. And there was no testimony that there were even any children there. It's just that there was a school there and, and children travel on that street. But there wasn't anybody there that day. That was the only testimony we had about people was that there were no people, no other vehicles except the white vehicle, unidentified, no witness from, from that vehicle, that Mr. Serio passed. Under the circumstances, I have no idea what the jury thought was willful and wanton disregard of the safety of persons or property for somebody that's either officer's testimony, uncontested, never exceeded and was never exceeded the speed limit, quite frankly, was below the existing speed limit. Uh, no, no evidence of any irregular driving, erratic driving, uh, driving over the lines, anything else other than the officer's opinion that his driving exhibited a, a lack of concern for the conditions. But what? The officer followed him uh, approximately eight blocks. Never it was just five, now it's eight. Any infractions or impro improprieties except the officer's uh, testimony and his having issued the ticket for failure to come to a complete stop at Rainier at the top of the hill. But that was not where the driving that we actually talked about and the jury was told about occurred. It, the charge was 12th, very specifically, at 12th Street in Maple. That's where he was stopped. That's where he was waiting on the officer. There's no oh testimony God. that anything occurred impro improper anywhere near that intersection. Or within to the, the counselor's credit, he's doing he's the best that he can with a well, very bad hand. Yeah, but, you know, he has a better argument. I wish he would stick with it, which is yeah. um, that all the officer said is some ephemeral type of like, you know, he didn't show concern for the other motorists on the road. What does that mean? That doesn't really mean anything, you know. Was he swerving in between lanes and lines? Was he hitting the median? Did he go into the shoulder? Was, you know, was he going fast? Right. Was he going slow? What do you mean by not showing due care? Did he cut someone off? You need to give me more than that. And maybe yep. there actually was more than that at the trial. Maybe there was. That's, but, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That there have, that's already been put to rest. Probably, <laughs> likely. But that's a better argument than... Oh, it's you know he's saying that he stopped him here, but the reckless driving happened way back there. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter like at all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of people in chat are bringing up a, a point that Artie and I talked about in his Discord when we first got the audio, and that is, you know, he's making he's making a lot of what appears to be very opinionated statements. But the concept, and Natalie, you know this to be true for a defense attorney, is that your job is to be a full advocate for your client. Yep. Um, and even if the story sounds implausible, the idea is to place, at least plant a seed of the shadow of doubt in the mind of the jury or the judge. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and some people talk about, oh, well, it, this could be a blatant lie, like uh, the Dahlia DiPolito thing where in her appeal they talked about, oh, this was a, uh, uh, what you call it, um, uh, and the the reality TV show. show it was reality a reality show. TV show, and that sounds stupid. 
to yeah. to normal people. But the concept is, is you need to be able to sell something mm -hmm. to the jury that can take your client out of that situation or reduce the charges that they're facing. Mm -hmm. And Tina, you should have the email now. I have it now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> are you, are you ready to uh, yeah. do your full, um, I was wrong. Culpa. I was absolutely wrong. It was more than I. It was about a thousand dollars more than I thought. And I'm Do it sorry. again with feeling. No. Yes, that's the best you get. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I had a question. Another okay. amazing victory for Shrek. Oh, Savor the, the flavor. It's not happening the, again. The award for the least emotion in an apology goes to. No, sorry, <laughs> but it was no big deal, really. A thousand dollars difference, and he didn't even feel it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just enjoy it because it's not happening again. Uh, OPT though, hmm. are what are you a defense lawyer too? I don't. I, don't I know was a defense law. lawyer. Okay, so I, I was just wondering what kind of law you. I had have. like yeah, I had like nine and a half years of doing both Ooh. criminal defense and criminal appellate defense. And then I became a staff attorney. Okay. Thank you. I was just wondering. Being a staff attorney has to be such a, like a breath of fresh air after it's um, one, you don't have to worry about clients paying you. I mean, that right. really is like the biggest, <laughs> I'm sure Natalie and Artie can attest. That's like the biggest thing in the world, like getting clients right. to pay you. I got like a paycheck every other week, you know, I, right. I get a paycheck every other week. It's kind of nice. Um, it's also interesting to see what happens behind the bench, you know, in chambers and whatnot. It's really interesting to see behind the curtain. And honestly, it, it, uh, this is all I'm going to say about this. If I went back to private practice, I probably would not count the practice in my county. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or in front of like only specific judges in my county. But I, I imagine as a staff attorney, it's sort of like being an officer in the military where your job is, is good or bad based on who your boss is. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yes. Right. Like my boss has been amazing during like everything I've gone through, including what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but like yeah, she's been the most supportive person I could have hoped for, especially after my mother passed away. So yeah, she's amazing, and I guarantee you none of the nine other judges in there would have been nearly as supportive. Yeah, because I worked for some commanding officers that were you knew they had your back, they were great, and then other were other ones that were just complete assholes mm. you couldn't count on for anything except giving you hell mm -hmm. and and it's a whole different world like it it just depends on who your damn boss is yeah, yeah. it's pretty much 100 percent yeah keep going yep. yes please All right. even though you were wrong <laughs> god Oh, petty. It's going to be all night, isn't it? It's going to be a very long night. Rainier. To come to a full stop at Rainier. Um, under the circumstances, I would ask, and I, I know I, I, this is a type of motion that I routinely make just to preserve the rights for appeal, but I've never, I, I can't occur in the, my term as an attorney that I've actually argued, but I can't. I'd ask you to reconsider the evidence that we heard, find that the jury was no basis for the jury to find that there was any impropriety with his driving, and above all, no recklessness in his driving at 12th Street and Maple, which you, was a charge in what you read to the jury. I've um, never seen this before. It's not a good defense other, in my estimation. Here. You want me to discuss it as well so I can? Sure. All right. The other charge, the failure to stop, was hotly contested and obviously objected to by my client who stopped and quite frankly argued with the officer, but he, he really didn't argue with this officer. This officer, he had already made a telephone call complaining about the officer's behavior or stop and was wait, and a, very quickly a supervisor arrived and all of the contact between my, or most all of the contact between my client and the officer was with the I believe he was a sergeant, maybe a lieutenant, anyway, supervising officer who arrived. He didn't see anything, but he talked with my client. And after they talked, he was the stopping officer who 
was called forward to deliver the ticket, and he delivered it to Mr. Serio, which was a failure to stop, failure to make a full stop, which is the only thing that had been discussed, only thing. And he declined to take it, so the officer put it in on the dash, and as he was, everybody was departing, the officer picked it up and turned it over. There's a second ticket there that's never been discussed, never been mentioned, no dis, no. Uh, description of what he's being accused of. It was reckless uh, driving. I kind of remember that being in the video that there was two tickets. Uh, I've never, mm -hmm. ever seen any situation where a serious charge, drunk driving, reckless driving, or something like that is charged. And the defendant doesn't even know until he is about to walk away from the incident that that's been added to the basic infraction that he was stopped for. I don't know what happened here. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't tell what? you my opinion, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, let's all. Like, 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 like you can get indicted for like crimes that weren't like discussed. I mean, like, yeah. I don't get what he's trying to argue here. I, I, I don't. As a layperson, I don't either. It seems like he's saying, "Oh, I've never seen this in all my years." That's not a defense. No, it's no. not. And okay, so like the thing is, and this is, um, there was this case I did, uh, I covered called the Michael McDonald case out of Nevada. And his attorney kept making those types of arguments, which were like, basically, yeah, it's kind of a crime what he did, but I've never seen them charge this before. Like, they're just going really hard on this guy for no reason. And I'm like, that's not a defense. You're still kind of saying your client did it, but that they are being too strident on your client by going back and seeing what potential crimes he could have committed by what looking at the body camera again or something that doesn't matter as long as the the facts meet the elements of the offense it doesn't matter right. if you've never seen it before and you know i i i see what um keeping a criminal was saying you know like yeah it is our job to raise reasonable doubt but there is a certain point in time where we have to be careful not to go over the deep end to the point where it hurts the client, right? Yeah. And so you don't want to make ridiculous arguments that don't have any basis in like legal theory so that you end up angering the judge and ultimately getting your client a more harsh sentence because the judge is so annoyed with you that they take it out on your client. These arguments are specious. They have like no, this particular argument right here especially has no basis in reality. And the one he keeps making about the location of the stop and the location of the reckless driving. It's ridiculous. And on that same note, um, you know, angering the judge with your crappy arguments, we mm -hmm. always have to go back to the cop has a lot of uh, leeway on the side of the road. And if you're going to anger the cop on the side of the road, you're probably not going to get as, you know, uh, as much leniency as you would if you would just be cool. And I mean, even if you're going to argue with the cop, there's there's a right and wrong way to do that. But you're only going to make him want to add, you know, make it make it, it as harsh as he possibly can if you're just being an absolute asshole. And right. we've all heard the audio of Glenn. Being and what asshole. was he what was he supposed to expect from that cop? Because right. they have a lot of latitude. Right. They, it can go from a warning to a step out of the car and get put in handcuffs. It can go anywhere on that spectrum. And I've never, ever been pulled out of my car and been put in handcuffs. You know, on the, the few times that I've ever been pulled over. I haven't actually... Uh, I've seen this happen before where... And it, it was... a. Uh, sexual assault on a minor case guys up for sentencing uh they had to take a plea deal because the minor was way too young to testify and the attorney stands up there and basically says um like as he's arguing for a probation sentence uh he literally says something to the tune of don't let the child think that he's the one who put his father in jail his father and, Sorry. and the the judge snapped like that oh i he bet got yeah pissed. and yeah. like like when when it was time for like the sentencing part of it when the judge makes their statement that was the only thing he mentioned right like you don't want to appear in front of that judge again 
Like, I don't know if he got a harsher sentence or not. I Knowing this judge, probably not. But, man, you couldn't tell right then. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Like, the rest of us defense attorneys. The rest of us. But it didn't help. Yeah. The rest of us defense attorneys looked at each other like, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So, anyway, that was my quick story. Keep going. Yeah. There was no testimony by the only witness, the officer, that there was anything erratic, improper, or irregular about his driving other than his other than. failure to come yeah, to the stop at the top of the hill at uh, Rainier. Or Poplar, I'm sorry. Uh, that's disputed, and we would still contest that. But we, that's all we had. And that's at a different location. It's not the location he was charged wow. with. Wow. So I would ask, oh, well, first of all, coming back to that, reconsider yeah. the, the jury's verdict on the reckless driving and just do the only thing that I think is possible, declare that there was no evidence. If there was something there, we didn't hear about it. Mr. Serio didn't hear about it. It wasn't brought up. It was just handed to him at the end of the incident. And the officer confirmed that. Uh, under the circumstances, it must and should be dismissed. The failure to stop at the top of the hill is still contested. The officer was some distance away. Um, I don't, there's no, there was no testimony that he just flat blew through the intersection without even slowing down. That wasn't even Especially alleged. Whether or not he came that wasn't. An adequate full stop. So we leave that to the judge's discretion. That ask that the reckless driving be dismissed. Thank you very much. I'm apologize. I apologize for being so wordy. Hey, Marvel City. Yes. Uh, there's two. There's a video that goes along with this audio that I put in the spot. Andrew Rovers put it in the chat. Just, it's, seriously? It's a video of the traffic stop. Oh, oh. you know we saw that. Yeah, okay. we've seen that. All right. Thank you, though. Yes. Issues here. One is the motion to dismiss the underlying conviction, and then there's the contested uh, infraction. Okay. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. I'll start with um, defense's motion to um, set aside the guilty verdict. I would ask the court just uh, summarily dismiss, um, deny, and dismiss that oh, motion just based on the untimely time in which it was filed. I presume, um, although uh, defense declines to uh, cite a basis in law for the request to set aside the verdict that we are operating under either Rule 7.4 or Rule 7.5. Both of those, uh, Rule 7.4 is an arrest, a request for an arrest of judgment that has to have been filed, um, served and filed within five days after the verdict. Um, I didn't get served with this until May 25th. The verdict was rendered on May 4th. The same time is required under Rule 7.5, which is a request for a new trial that similarly has to have been filed and served uh, within five days of the uh, verdict, and it indeed was not. Um, so for that reason, the city would first request the court <clears throat> deny defense's motion. If the court were to consider the merits of Mr. Jones's motion, um, I would ask the court to similarly deny the motion on a couple of grounds. Um, it seems to me that perhaps council is operating under rule 7.4 subsection A, subsection two, that the complaint or the citation and notice does not charge a crime um, in his argument with regard to um, the location indicated on the complaint. Um, and indeed the complaint does in fact charge um, a crime of reckless driving. And I would ask the court to consider that to be sufficient. Um, if the court is operating, or if Mr. Uh, Jones is asking the court to issue a new trial under Rule 7.5, I presume, again, without having um, there been a citation in the briefing that Mr. Jones is asking the court to um, proceed under subsection 7, that the verdict or the decision is contrary to the law and the evidence. Um, First of all, constrained by the evidence, um, which was the testimony of Officer Jacoby and the testimony of Mr. Serio, um, I would ask the court not to set aside the finding of the jury um, after carefully considering all of the evidence that was presented to it. Um, it, it 
in my estimation, was a uh, matter of who the jury found more credible with regard to the testimony that was presented. Mr. Jones argues that there was no testimony that there were people present. Um, well, that is true if the court were only to consider Mr. Serio's testimony, but the court <laughs> should also consider uh, Officer Jacoby's testimony, who indicated that indeed there were people present um, who were on the sidewalks and in the area around where uh, the driving occurred. Um, in addition to that, Your Honor, Whoa, um, would you look at that? there was ample yep. testimony about the aggression. I, I hate to interrupt. I'm sorry, but what no. is that? Because that, you know, and again, as counsel, when, okay, so mm -hmm. when it comes to the jury being the finder of fact, they get to determine who they think is more credible. But the way that defense counsel couched the argument, you would think that there was no other evidence of other people being present, that that was all the evidence that there was, that there were no people present. Well, we find out actually the officer testified there were people present. And so it looks like the jury believed the officer and not Mr. Cerro. So Mm -hmm. No, so you have to be careful with these types of, yeah, you have to argue um, for your client, but you can't make misrepresentations. And that's basically a misrepresentation because there is evidence. You just don't want the judge to go along with that evidence. You have to right. change how you argue that. Mm -hmm. So right. he wasn't just believing his client. He, he should have not said anything, maybe. He probably uh, should have argued that like my client was more credible than the officer. Okay. Absolutely. And, right. and yeah. then got into his spiel about Exactly. That. The, 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 the more credible evidence is blah, 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 but never say there mm -hmm. is no evidence of such and such. When there is evidence of it, there's testimony right. you know, of a, the thing that you don't want to be. So you have to acknowledge that and then just say that that was not credible and no jury could have found that credible or should have found that credible. So you have to set that aside. Right. And this is a thing that's that, that I've noticed in a lot of cases. And um, those of you who've done criminal cases can probably speak to it. But I'm a lot of times impressed by prosecutors that I know how I know they have a heavy workload. But yet they, it, it seems like so often they show up and they know that they're just on point. Like, mm -hmm. how do they do that? Like, under the caseload that I know that they have to be under. Is it just 60 hour weeks? Is that, does that, I mean, that's part board? of it. That's part of it. Like just straight up working long, like weekends, uh, mm. working nights, whatnot, getting all of your witnesses together. Cause again, most of these cases don't go to trial. So like most of them are plea bargains where, you know, the prosecutor has gone over all the evidence and whatnot, and maybe is, like you know, dug into it a little bit, whatnot, but they do trial prep and they get prepped pretty hard for a lot of these cases, at least from what I've seen. Sometimes, sometimes you wonder <laughs> about a certain prosecutor what they're actually doing, but for the most part, uh, you know, you, you just trial prep. It's just work. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, on on balance, this is a pretty minor case, but right. the, the lady seems to know what the hell she's talking yeah. about. And I, I'm sure she has bigger fish to fry. I'm just really impressed with uh, that she came with her her uh, you know quiver loaded with arrows. Oh well, hang tight, Schrodinger. It gets even better. Oh Ooh, great! Does. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Cool. Aggressiveness of Mr. Serio's driving um, and how that was, although not um, in excess of the speed limit, it was. Um, disregarding the known and potential um, dangers of the area, particularly considering the Boys and Girls Club on one <gasps> side of the road and the playground at school on the other side of the road, oh. um, and the aggressive manner in which uh, Officer Jacoby testified that Mr. Serio passed the um, white vehicle that we've heard so much about, as well as um, proceeding through a stop sign without having stopped. I'll then address the infraction and ask the court to find that infraction committed, which is failing to stop at the stop sign. Again, um, there's contrary testimony between what Officer Jacoby testified to and what Mr. Serio testified to. Um, Officer Jacoby described his ability to see Mr. Serio as he rolled through a stop sign um, and uh, was quite clear as to what he observed. Um, and I would ask the court to find that by preponderance of the evidence, his testimony was credible and that Mr. Serio did in fact commit that infraction. So Thank it you. sounds to me that that infraction- So I have before me a motion to set aside. 
Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, it sounds to me like the infraction wasn't put before the jury, and that he's going to find it now, and then the reckless driving was put before the jury. Yeah, Glenn claims a car he passed was doing five miles an hour. Yeah, too. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, but we Glenn's a known liar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that the reckless was put in front of the jury, but not the passing stop. car or something? Or I think the there's, there's an infraction about, I think, the stop sign or something. Okay. Uh, just like that wasn't put before the jury, just in case people are wondering why they're finding guilty now. Okay. Um, because that wasn't put before the jury. The evidence just came out at the trials for the judge to decide. The jury only had, probably only had the uh, reckless driving in front of them, because I'm guessing that's the only thing that's more than just an infraction. Okay. Thank but I could be wrong. The, the verdict, when I initially read the brief by Mr. Jones, I thought it was uh, to set aside the verdict based on a deficiency of the complaint. If I was to rule on the defense's favor on that, and dismiss the charge that is without prejudice per the law and the city could refile that. And Mr. Jones argued today more to the attune of uh, setting aside the verdict for lack of sufficiency of the evidence to support the crime. I'm going to address both. Uh, if I found uh, the latter, that there was no evidence sufficient to support a crime, it would be dismissed and the city could not retry it. As to the sufficiency of the complaint, um, the accused must be informed of the criminal charges he or she is to meet at trial and cannot be tried for an offense which he has not been um, aware, made aware of. All the essential statutory elements of the crime must be included in the charging document in order to afford notice of the accused, the nature of the cause, and what he um, is being charged with. The primary purpose of the complaint is to give notice to the accused so that the defense must be prepared. Uh, I am finding that the complaint in and of itself was sufficient to apprise the defense of the defense of what the nature of the charges are. Uh, Mr. Jones at trial call indicated that he was ready to go. He anticipated the trial was going to last approximately three days based on the number of witnesses and the police reports indicated and what the nature of the charge was. I find that um, there's no prejudice to the defendant at all as to how the complaint is read and find that it is sufficient. Uh, as to the sufficiency of the evidence, this case, uh, I do remember this case. It was tried before me uh, at the close of the states when the state rested. Uh, Mr. Jones brought a motion to dismiss at halftime pursuant to Green. Uh, at that time, I denied the motion, finding that there was sufficient evidence for a reasonable trier of fact to find beyond a reasonable doubt the defendant was in fact guilty of reckless driving and the jury didn't come back before this court and find that he was in fact guilty of that crime i find therefore that there was in fact sufficient evidence to support uh, the crime i don't disagree with some of mr jones's analysis that this is far from the most egregious reckless driving that this court has encountered, but there is sufficient evidence to support the finding and I am denying the motion. As to the motion to um, regarding stopping at the stop sign, the infraction, uh, the city does have the burden of proof. However, unlike a criminal case, it's not beyond a reasonable doubt. I'm also not, um, burdened or tied with the jury's verdict and don't have to find what the jurors found. In this case, uh, we heard testimony from Officer Jacoby and also t t testimony from Mr. Serio. I found and will find for purposes of this hearing that Officer Jacoby's uh, testimony was credible and Mr. Serio's was not and therefore I'm finding the infraction <laughs> committed. Of course. <laughs> As to sentencing, what is the city's position? Yes, thank you, Your Honor. The city um, does want to let the court know a little background on this case. Yeah. That's my request for sentencing. Um, when yeah. we make offers in criminal cases, the city offers both a uh, pre and a post trial offer. That oh. way, defense knows in huh. advance of trial um, well, this what could the be good. city would likely recommend following trial and following a conviction. 
in this case. Um, Why was that surprising to you guys? Because normally when you're, the verdict's done, the prosecutor's just done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, well done, OPT. Finding this, this was a gem. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Here this is a, this is so entertaining. Thank you and informative. I'm learning about their jurisdiction and everything. Thank right? You. Yeah. It's, yeah. But yeah, no, I think. Um, uh, yeah, as I was saying, just you don't normally see a prosecutor willing to make a deal after verdict. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. And in the chat, I just turned slow mode to 40 seconds. Let me know if that's too fast or slow or what. I can adjust it. Okay, here we go. The city offered Mr. Serio the opportunity to get this charge amended to a negligent driving in the second degree infraction should he have no moving violations and complete one day of driving school. That offer was made to Mr. Serio back in January of 2020. Um, at that same time, in January of 2020, Mr. Sherio was informed that should this case proceed to trial and should he face conviction, the city would be asking for 15 days. So of jail. more than two city years ago, two, complete two days of yeah. management, complete two days of driving school, have a $550 fine and have no moving violations. Um, the city is at this time asking the court to impose that exact sentence. Um, and that would be no moving violations as per WAC 308-104-160. Um, all of those were communicated to Mr. Serio in advance of trial, in advance of any negotiations that occurred on this case. And I would ask the court to make a finding that those are appropriate. Um, I would additionally ask the court to impose a condition that he have no contact except for uh, through emergency services access with Officer Jacoby. And the reason for that, Your Honor, is that aside from and outside of um, what the court was informed of during the trial, um, Mr. Serio has um, very nearly gotten to the point where he is harassing Officer Jacoby. Um, oh, this lady has done her Mr. homework. Serio I love her. Channel in which he has oh, um, made uh, various claims about Officer Jacoby, including um, claims that Officer Jacoby has taken as veiled threats against himself and his family. Well, yes, he Officer did. Jacoby yes, has, he did. Um, shared concerns with me for his safety. Um, can someone get that with, video? Uh, any um, that he has out there. Video? There's more than one. There's multiple yeah, videos. There's so many interactions with Jacoby. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Serio. Um, so I'd ask the court to impose. Oh, do you, no do you hear him? Do you yeah. hear him? Do you hear Glenn? Yeah, we heard him. But she's funny something. Is there anybody? She's here? lying, she said. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh he's Glenn. out of control. Is that, it was under his breath, but yeah. it, you obviously hear it in the uh, the audio. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know what? The thing of it is, the judge probably didn't hear it either. My guess yeah. is that it's just it's the audio court report. It's the audio court reporter, as in there isn't a court reporter there. There's just audio recording, right? And the mics happen to pick up his voice. <laughs> yeah, they're right. on the tables or something. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. as if a a prosecutor would last five seconds, you know, it, in their job lying to a judge. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe and as... he uploaded the proof. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's why he uploaded his own evidence it's against on his him. channel. That's, that's on his channel. That's what frauditors do. They they upload incriminating evidence against themselves <laughs> and then say that they're going to sue. Mm -hmm. Like, brilliant. It, they're so dumb. Mm -hmm. This speaks volumes to what other people have said a lot in the videos that we do. You know, why don't they bring up what's happened in prior videos we heard this with what jamal and rise of the moors oh right won't any of this come up well it did for the instagram during the standoffs but when it comes to glenn and what's disappointing is that this prosecutor she definitely has done her homework mm -hmm. she has right. put in a lot of effort to dig into what exactly happened in this yeah, the problem point. that we're going to face is this information that's bring, being brought forth now during mm. sentencing was not brought forth as evidence, I don't oh believe, God. during the trial. Well, it's so, not right. evidence in the trial. It's, it's, it's irrelevant evidence. to the situation, it's, though. It's yeah. irrelevant. But they could have brought it up. Yeah. They could have brought it up. No. Mm. It's not relevant. It's because not it's not relevant. No. Not no. no. Absolutely not. Probative. 
absolutely could not have brought it up. Evans Hill 404B and... would prevent that from ever coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easily. I, I, I don't know what that is, but what if... That's why I have lawyers here it instead of us just speculating. Right? That's well, all that's of you guys. That's why I'm a lawyer in training. <laughs> that's, instead of saying a, an evidence number, real quick, um, mm -hmm. the reason that their his uh, prior bad acts or even subsequent bad acts that don't have anything to do with his manner of driving yeah. can't come in is because the, it's it's because it's more prejudicial than prejudicial. it is probative. Okay, probative. It would make the jury think, oh, of course he drove recklessly if he's threatening the police officer. And is a general okay. asshole human being. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you prejudice the defendant. Like, and because, think about it, think about it. He could be like a, com he's already, you know, he's a crazy guy, but just, just think about it. It could be that he didn't drive recklessly at all. Right. Mm -hmm. Then afterwards, he went crazy and started threatening the police officer. Right. If you tell yeah. the jury that he was threatening the police officer. You're gonna be like, oh, of course he was driving recklessly. But those two it. things that don't logically sense. follow right. each other. Right. But right. propensity evidence. Just because a guy has done something bad in the past doesn't mean that he did this thing here. Exactly. Well, and, the, and the judge is going to make a point about that in. in uh, here in a bit too. Oh, and yeah. And that's that's, what, I, that's what I. That's what I was trying to get to. Hearing. It is really like yeah, this is awesome. And, yeah. and this is why instead of me just getting a bunch of my buddies on, and, and of course all of you are my buddies, but mm -hmm. instead of me just getting a bunch of my buddies on and we watch videos and pick them apart, every now and then I like to get some experts on, and then we all get our misconceptions about whatever the area of expertise is fixed, you know, within our, our own selves so that we can be more informed going forward. Just like the, um, when I had the ask a scientist, uh, stream mm -hmm. recently, and we learned a whole bunch of new stuff that we were wrong about where scientists were telling mm -hmm. us, no dumb, dumb head. Uh, <laughs> this is how it really is. All right. But so in that vein, I have a question. So what if they could prove that he was there to do his frauding and like he was following the cop or sort of following this person well, that's that, the one, would that have that one video would be relevant that would okay be, yeah okay. like if he recorded his crime that would be a relevant video <laughs> yeah the, the reason the reason that i jumped in with with what the prosecutor is bringing up is because she's laying a basis and a foundation for a recommendation to cut any contact with officer Jacoby because right. of Glenn's subsequent videos and bad mouthing of him to show a level of harassment. But okay. again, like has already been stated, it had no relevance to the two the tickets driving. by themselves. Right. Okay. right. I you. Exactly. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Apparently, uh, oh. Jacoby had a no contact order against Glenn, but it was lifted. I think when he's he... suing Glenn. Yeah. It was lifted when Jacoby failed to appear at court. Mm. Uh, idiot. Uh, that sucks. Someone, su some officers doing Glenn for like racial, like oh, that's the oh, other one. Yeah, I don't know that's that the other one. cop. Right, that was yeah. bad. That was that was really horrible. bad. Yeah, All right. yeah. Some somebody sent that to me again recently. I, I get a lot of emails from yeah. subscribers, and they're like, yeah, "Have you seen this one?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah," but that was the one where he just called the. Uh, cop a slave and drop the end bomb like yeah, five I times. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and the videos are always really great, but if they're older ones, he's seen them, guys. <laughs> hey, it, it's fine. I I wade my way through them as best I can. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, just if, if you guys send me emails and you don't get a response. It's, it's, I just get, it's coming. We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there or I saw it and I, I read all of them, uh, whether or not I respond to each and every one of them. Uh, I'm, I'm literally getting like 50 to 60 a day at this point. Jeez. That doesn't count mm -hmm. tweets. Um, and, uh, you know, Facebook messages and mm -hmm. comments. Uh, I get, uh, I probably get, what would you say, Tina? 10,000 comments a day. Yeah, and then I, every now and then I'll see a comment and say, "You didn't answer my comment." I'm like, oh my <laughs> god! Of course I didn't. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to help him get through all of them. I am. Yeah. Oh my god! Just so popular, guys. I'm sorry. I just, yeah, you know, exactly. Right. Yeah, he's uh, got the too worst much. life. The worst well, life. Well, now that we're, now that we're here though discussing this, I would like to <laughs> know. Right, defend me, uh, 
Natalie. I need, an, I need an assistant. And if anybody wants to make a little money on the side, I need an assistant. I'm jumping I'm ship. I'm money. jumping ship. I'm jumping ship. <laughs> I have oh. tried to steal Tina several times. It doesn't work. <laughs> she loves him. It's annoying. I need someone <laughs> to be <No>. my Tina. <laughs> yeah, Natalie, you need a Tina. It, I it, do. It, it, Aww. It, it, hit me up. It, it, it's great. Seriously, kick. Let's do it. <laughs> hit me up because uh, I've been I've been helping Artie out, and I want to continue to help him out with doing some edits and uh, yeah. Thumbnails. Kick, is, and... Kick has been my impromptu editor. I keep telling him I want to pay him, but he keeps keeps saying no. Well, Kick, I know you. I, I, I want to pay somebody. I need someone yeah. to look through my emails for me, categorize them. Yes. You know, Kick, Kick. Help me with um, you know, uh, all this stuff, the back end stuff on YouTube. I need someone. I'll, you know. you I'll email Cliff. you, Nat. I got somebody Nat, who can help you. Nat, out. you okay. need Cliff. Is what you need, Cliff. Mm. Cliff's got, Cliff's got time. My Cliff. Me, Cliff. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to steal Cliff too. Everybody's trying to get Cliff. Okay, all right. Okay, I've derailed the conversation enough. Now <laughs> here we go. I you got a whole hang on to the operation going need... on here. But right. no, no, no. Seriously, just you know, everybody's hating on me, acting like I'm just bragging. No, it it gets that yeah. bad. No, where, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it if I. Warming. Yeah, it does. It it's it gets overwhelming. So yeah, okay, we can carry on now. Okay, Sir Jacoby, um, again outside of accessing emergency services, I also would like the court to know that I went back and I reviewed in advance of today some of uh, Mr. Serio's testimony, and um, I think it is appropriate for the court to know that um, Mr. Serio, in my estimation, was not entirely forthcoming when he testified to the fact that he was not familiar with the area in which this occurred. That was a large basis for um, his his testimony, that he was simply wasn't familiar with the area. He couldn't have been familiar with the Boys and Girls Club. He couldn't have been familiar with the, the playground there. Um, and in fact, um, Mr. Serio on his um, ADR in Jabs has two addresses that are quite close to that location as being primary addresses for him at some point in his history, including at 2220 oh. Oak Ave in 2018. Oh, they nice. went to Jabs. Also in 2018. Nice. Um, and I have been informed since then that, in fact, Mr. Serio's father lives at um, at the uh, um, mobile home park that was tested. Oh, uh, wouldn't to, that be here safe? Um, at length during no. the course of no, she's got records of it. Okay. Well, she just said she's been informed, so I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, it's sentencing. It's not a trial. It's not a trial. Anything comes in. Anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I do have copies of the restraining order his father put out on him. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and his sister. And his sister. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. He's just oh, all crazy. around. When your family is taking being. out restraining orders on you, that's yeah. a problem. No bueno. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Here we go. So the trial. Um, so the city is concerned with Mr. Serio's um, candor to the court and with his candor to the tribunal. Oh, his candor. Um, particularly given the fact that um, it was, of course, under oath. All of this Ooh, in the the lie. and asking the court to impose a 15-day uh, jail sentence, suspending all remaining 49 days on condition that he do complete the anger management, he do complete the two-day driving school, he um, uh, pay a fine of $550 and have no moving violations during the course of the two years of suspended time. Before I turn to Mr. Jones, I have two follow-up questions for you. Yes, One, sir. how is prohibiting him from communicating or talking to Officer Jacoby a crime-related prohibition? It's not. Your Honor, Mr. Exactly. Serio's behavior on this particular day was um, borderline obstructing. And I think that if there had been a different officer um, with a uh, different um, with obstruction. demeanor, it may have risen to that level simply because Mr. Serio's um, continued escalation when he, whenever he is involved with law enforcement. Um, and so I think that, that is an appropriate um, yeah. portion of sentence that this court can mm -hmm. hand down, given Mr. Serio's demeanor with regard to Officer Jacoby and all law enforcement that were involved that day. The other question is, where did you get 15 days from? Um, <clears throat> Your Honor, the city uh, looked at Mr. Serio's driving record, um, which is less than stellar, um, as well as um, <laughs> the 
testimony that, well, not the testimony that was offered because this was um, in advance of trial. Usually um, we look at their criminal history and the facts of the case. Um, and that's where we come up with the offer that is that communicated to defense. Anything else before I turn to Mr. Jones? Nothing further from the city. Mr. Jones? I find this is preposterous <laughs> evidence trial to suggest that or to call the contact between my client and Officer Jacoby borderline obstructing. He didn't talk to him. He Bullshit. called for a supervisor, Mr. Uh, uh, if it saves you time, Mr. Did you want to say something? Okay. It, 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 he did talk to him. No, I, mean, I, we've I all said seen it. the video. Yeah, yeah. I said it. Bullshit. Yeah, um, yeah. that's a lie. <laughs> the out and out lie. Jones, walked away. Hold on, Mr. Jones, if it saves you time, I'm not going to impose the prohibition to uh, prohibit him from contacting Officer Jacoby. I, I don't think I can make a finding that it was it would be an appropriate crime related prohibition for what Mr. Jacoby was found, or excuse me, Mr. Serio was found guilty of. So if you want to address something else, um, that's fine. I'm, the rest of her suggestions that this is a case because of his prior history, which she doesn't even tell you, she just looked at it, <laughs> justifies an enhanced penalty over normal cases is equally inappropriate. If she wants to talk about a sentence, she needs to tell us what it is and what, what his history is. And I'm not aware of it. Then you uh, haven't been to his wow. Well, you, you haven't done your job. Actions, I believe, but uh, he and the city have had an ongoing disagreement about his <laughs> conduct, <laughs> his contact with officers, but not Officer Jacoby. Officer Jacoby pulled him over, but by the time he came up to the car, he'd already called for a supervisor. His dealings were with somebody else. No, his, he kid, has sought out his history Officer was, Jacoby. Mm -hmm. He stalked him. Mm -hmm. yep. Is he one of the ones he was trying to serve that day? Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you. I do just want to say, though, that the good point that defense counsel made here was she didn't say, she said his driving record was less than stellar. You need to say what it is. Like, yeah, what right. is the driving record? That, so again, those type of like nebulous. Oh, I, I have it. I have it pulled up on screen, at mm -hmm. least what is, what's publicly available. Um, mm -hmm. I've no. got, let's see. Um, um, minor operating a vehicle after alcohol consumption. Oh. Um, assault, driving with license suspended, third degree, oh, driving with license suspended, second degree, oh. uh, possession, consumption of liquor by minor slash theft, uh, <laughs> no valid uh, operating license, uh, without identification, driving while license suspended, third degree, no, uh, no valid license uh, with valid ID, uh, driving while suspended, third degree. Uh, that's just what I was available to find yeah. publicly. We wow. have um, so we Lord have, knows what she has. Right, he's been at it for a long time. Huh. We have a fraudster in the audience saying that officer is not playing with the whole deck, Officer Jacoby or whatever his name is. I everything I've seen from Jacoby's been on point, so yeah, I don't know yeah. what he's talking about. That's just like well, a, he's, he's one of Glenn's people. Yeah. 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 You could you could just make an accusation without any substance. That, and that's, that's what fine. they always do. That's what they all right. do. Right. Yeah. But yeah. They're just salty that Glenn's going to jail too. They they're losing all their big heroes, right? Right. Yeah. Eric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but what happens Earl. when what happens when I say come debate me and they say, Okay, I'll debate you and then I say, Okay, um email my email my producer and then they're like, wah, 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 wah. Uh -huh. Yeah, they won't come to me. No, no, we've had two recently that have demanded mm -hmm. debates, and I say, Email Tina, let's get this thing scheduled, and then radio yeah. silence. Well, one mm -hmm. won't talk to a woman, so there's that. Well, no, oh, I, I, yeah, I, oh, I yeah. no, I, I found a man actually, a man that he looks up to and has tried to just try to schedule the debate, 
and he emailed me and he was like, bro, no. he's like, I'm trying to work it out. It's like, this is a whole lot harder than it sounds like. This is, his, this is an older guy that he looks up to that is telling me even I can't get him to schedule a debate after he man yeah. he demanded yeah. after he demanded that I debate him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but uh, here's the caveat: for the duration of our debate, I will identify as a woman. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah, uh, yeah. He says that he won't talk he to a woman. So. For the duration of the debate, I will. I'm going to be Penelope. And here we go. <laughs> Officer Jacoby, which he doesn't have. I don't think he'd ever seen Officer Jacoby or either. He's never seen him. Uh, what? He stalked him. Is just yeah. not justified. And if you'll recall, oh, this is liar. the case where they said, "Oh, Officer Jacoby, we need a continuance. He can't be here today because he's on he's on vacation." And then we called. It was just his day off, and he was home. And said, well, get him in here. And he came right in. They hadn't even called him for the trial. Uh, this is. Okay. Uh, Sorry. No, uh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Let's just keep going. Bit of a witch hunt. And I understand that. I understand they're being upset. They don't get along with, with my client. But for her to come in and say, we need all these extra breathing? penalties, extraordinary penalties. I don't want to. How but could you I, not I, hear I Glenn's breath? No, putting the record in or telling us what it is in the record that's so objectionable, they have no contact with one another. Uh, uh -huh. It's preposterous. We would ask that you ignore her recommendations. You already said he the, would. There no be no additional penalties other than uh, the, which would normally be imposed for this failure to stop ticket. That you oh, that's really for. his breathing. Thank Your Honor, you. if I may yeah. clarify. In a uh, moment. Not yet. So I can tell you, Mr. Jones, and tell me if this is correct, City, that I just printed off his criminal history, and oh. I, I heard that the 15 days was because of driving-related history, so I'm only going to look at that. So I just found that he committed the infraction of stopping at a stop sign on November 15th, 2019. The jury found him guilty of reckless driving on November 15th, 2019. Those are his last two uh driving related offenses what we're here for today on july 16th 2018 he was found committed for speeding 19 miles an hour over the speed limit on march 6 2018 he was found committed on speeding 17 miles an hour over the speed limit on june 9th 2019 he was found committed to failing to obey a lane control device Uh, Glenn's he was been a found bad, bad on boy. May 17th, mm -hmm. 2014, speeding five miles over the speed limit. Mm -hmm. On April 22nd, 2005, driving a license suspended the second degree was amended to the third degree and he was found guilty. On December 22nd, 2004, minor operated motor vehicle after alcohol, he was found guilty. Uh, that's and the one that I found. September 18th, 2004, he was found committed for speeding 20 mi 28 miles an hour over the speed limit and operating Whoa. a vehicle without Hello. insurance. And finally, uh, on September 18th, 2004, a violation of instructional permit. 28 so over? if that's, that's what you wanted to address, you don't need to. That's like oh. handcuffs right there. Yeah, that's really Normal, cool. Yeah. And he was That's, really young when he was doing that, too. Right. That's felony speeding in m m some states. Right. Mm -hmm. um, 28 over. Glenn, yeah. come on. Yeah, he has no... I don't think we have felony speeding here, but that would definitely be in the range of reckless driving at that point. Yeah, for us, yeah. it would be reckless for sure. You're yeah. looking at some jail time with that. That's and, and in Virginia, I think it's either 15 or 20 over is reckless. Mm-hmm. Jeez, Glenn. Get your shit straight. I think in Connecticut it's 15, if I remember correctly. Goodness gracious. I've never been pulled over for that. <laughs> I've, I've got 
two I've got two tickets in my in my entire life. Hmm. I, I was pulled over in New York for that though. Once. Well, plus, when yeah, I do get pulled over, me. I don't act like an absolute asshole either. Exactly. I'm like, so, sir, yes, sir, no, sir. Yeah, I mean, there's been a couple times that I've been pulled over when it was, like, questionable. And, you know, the cop's just like, you know what? You know, it, 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 don't do it again. Yeah, I've had a couple of oh, those. Yeah. But I've got two actual, like, ticket tickets. But that's the difference between us and them, Schrodinger. Mm-hmm we take responsibility for our actions. Yep. If right. I get pulled over and my registration's out, guess what? Hey, officer. Uh, yeah, my registration's out. Totally sorry about that. I screwed up. Yeah, I had one where my um, my inspection sticker was out. And I, I, I was like, <laughs> I've been in Hawaii for nine weeks. I literally just got back. Uh, I even pulled up the little... Uh, uh, American Airlines thing on my phone and said, look, I just got back. Uh-huh. And he was like, okay, you know, so that was cool. But I didn't, you know, crack my window one inch and tell yeah. him that I was traveling and not driving. Not driving. And, you know, I, it, it, there's a whole lot different, you know, it's, my- it's in, in any interaction anywhere, ever, anywhere, ever, you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Yep. That that's true of cops, as as well as you know waitresses and you know customer service on the telephone. I had um, a suspended license once when I was pulled over. That's yeah, unsurprising. I, no, I I forgot to get it renewed, and, and it was past like one or two days past the grace period. Right. And they towed it, but like even then, I didn't lose my shit on them. Is my fault because that doesn't that doesn't help you, and it and doesn't. and no situation does losing your shit on the cops or the TSA or anybody else or yeah any it, losing your shit never makes the situation better. No, like maybe become firm. Well, like right if 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 I'm at a uh, a restaurant and I do actually have to call the manager because it's so bad. And I'm, you know, sort of firm and saying like, look, this is jacked up. You know, I asked for, you know, water and they brought me, you know, 151, <laughs> you know, and, and, and my kids, uh, yeah, a bottle, you know, <laughs> like that is different than just losing your shit for the sake of losing your shit. And that's what these people do. They go to zero to a hundred because they're male Karens. And a brand. (laughs) There are those people out there though, who think that by doing that is what you, when you get your own way, like if you yell at the person at the front desk, you get your upgrade or something like that. Have you seen those people? Mm -hmm. Karens basically. That's what they do. Oh yeah. There there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Well, I mean, I, I got an upgrade in the hotel that I was just at in New Hampshire. Um, we, we walked in, me and my colleague, and we've stayed at this hotel so many times that when we walked in, they were like, oh, uh, Mr. Overby, Mr. Hilburn, because that's how much we stay there. Mm-hmm. And we're, you know, we're joking with them and everything while we're getting checked in. And I'm like, would you believe it? Like he got bumped up to first class on the airplane getting here. And the lady goes, well, you know what? I'm going to give you a room upgrade. You know, because we're just being cool with them. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how you human interaction goes. Like, yeah. you don't get anywhere by just being an asshole everywhere you go. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I really feel like it is um, how you were trained to... Uh, interact with people, especially people that you see as like subordinates or people that have to answer. Right. Them. Like, um, it's so funny. Like, you even kind of see it play out in the comment section sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, some people will be like, "Hey, Natalie, could you check out this video or this issue and react to it?" And I'm like, "I'll try my best. You know, I'll I'll try to get to it. No problem." And then sometimes I'll get somebody. I got this the other day, and I thought it was so funny. He goes, he comments on one of my videos, and he's like. I need to see you take judges to task the same way that you take 
regular people to task. And this judge did this crazy thing. And I want to see you uh, react to it and say what a bad person this judge is. And I was just like, um, well, you don't tell me what to do over here. I, I, <laughs> I, one, I, do, I do whatever I want. And, you know, I give my honest opinion. And then, you know, however it turns out, it turns out. But aside from that, I was like, you really came in hot here. Why don't you give me a link to the video that you're referring to and ask me to react to it, and then I'll try to get around to it instead of trying to bully me into doing what you right? want. Right? No, I, I like, get those yeah. a, a lot, like people demanding <laughs> yeah. that that I, you know, you watch the this cops, video yeah. and and you tell me, you know, I you need to respond to this. Yeah. Like, need, need to. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm – I'm 45 years old. Right. Like, I'm a grown man. I don't need to do anything except take care of my family. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, like, and I, it 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 is funny how some people have this sense of entitlement to where yeah. they think that they can just tell people what they need to do. Um, I was just talking to Team Skeptic earlier today on the telephone, and we were talking about uh, so I uh, premieres. Because some people hate premieres, and he was talking about how he gets uh, hate mail about premieres, and I Damn. told him that I got um, two messages in Weird. one day, two emails in the same day of people saying, "You're going to lose subscribers if you keep doing premieres." And yeah. I looked, I looked, and one of them had one subscriber, and the other one had something like seven. Yeah. Um, like, <laughs> they're the pros. They're the pros. Right? No. Like, yeah. how are you? You I have to ask me. you later on. I don't want to get bogged down, but I have to ask why do they don't like re premieres? But we don't have to go through that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, odd. yeah. That's yeah. That, that's probably we probably need to get back to. Yeah, I think I think we need to hit super chats here real quick. But um, you know who gets a lot of those? Radical. Yeah, I love premieres. My regular subscribers love premieres because we all get to interact and we all get to yeah. like you know uh, Not talk. Just that. Yeah, yeah we produces commentary. You guys stop talking during the videos, they say. Oh yeah, yes. I love that too. Stop talking during the videos. And I know Natalie gets this too. Uh, why, why don't uh, you just why don't you all just, the time for me too? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why don't, why don't you just that. play the video? I'm like, it's a reaction video. <laughs> otherwise, right. otherwise, it's copyright. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Hey, I welcome to my channel. Reaction in the in the title. Yep. It's a reaction. And then I put the original down in the comment section. And oh, people are like, let's play the video. And I'm like, what do you think this is, sir? Right. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, we, we, we need to have we need to have a whole yeah. stream yeah. where <laughs> what we need to have a and, and, and as respectfully as we possibly can, and no disrespect to the audience because this isn't gonna be for y'all. But it's going to be like stupid things that people say. <laughs> um, the stupidest was someone review. said to Radical. It's a comment review stream. Someone, I'm down with this. Yeah. Someone literally said to Radical to stop doing his fake accent. I heard that. Oh my god! No. <laughs> He's Dutch, you idiot. Oh, oh my god! I went after him so hard, that guy. Oh. And and we all know that Radical doesn't even have an accent. He does. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. But I yeah, do this Artie, you I, and I, I got called out. Oh really? Last Saturday on Maybe. Uh, our stream that we were fake, that we did not legitimately laugh at the dumb shit that we looked at Saturday. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. So may maybe like two we weeks, yeah. two weeks from now, we all just need to reconvene, get Radical on, mm. and maybe a couple of others, and just pull up the most ridiculous comments. Yeah, that we've got. I think that would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, we have uh, to put in the Natalie stop petting your wig one that I got. Oh, oh that, my God. He was such an idiot. I'm sorry, but what? I was just like, the lady, this used to be a hair channel. You can literally see the hair growing from my I was going to say, yeah, you have a lot of videos about that. Yeah, yeah. I like, I know, I saw, don't you have one of your videos that's like has almost a million like views? Yeah. It's like one of your very, very old ones. Right. right. It was, it was like a hair tutorial or something like that. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? 
Like, what are you talking about? Like, what? You can literally see my hair growing throughout the years. And she's like, but if it was your hair, why are you petting it like it's an animal? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I was like, I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, <laughs> okay. What, we we got to do this. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I'm down. Down. Yeah. Tina, uh, just, I guess, put that on the list. Uh, but what we're, I, I guess let's do super chats. But first, um, uh, Natalie, I have gone to war with people when I defended you when they said that you were racist. I got so many comments yeah. of oh, that people. Was the stupidest thing ever. Yes. And, and, and they wanted to fight me over it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, bitch, <laughs> that's my friend. One me, one me, bitch. <laughs> Right, <laughs> like if, if 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 Natalie's racist, I'm like the whitest white dude that ever whited. <laughs> Wait, are you <laughs> whiter than the time that white went to White Town? Right. I don't know why I was. Oh yeah, I was racist because I wasn't responding and to emails white because people. I was not yeah. feeling well. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, this I, I I've never told you this one. I, I think you'll get a kick out of it. I got like three or four emails from people telling me, "I need you to um, reach out to Schrodinger and tell him to take this video down." And I was just like, I didn't respond to the emails, but I got like four of them maybe. And it was like from women saying, "This he made this video and something in it was sexist, and you need to tell him to take it down." And I was just like, "Delete block." <laughs> 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 What to do on his channel? Yeah, they, right? they, they, don't come to me. <laughs> they don't come to me with that shit. No, right. of course not. I was like, I don't know why you think. I don't know what about me makes you think I'm gonna go police someone else on their own channel. You have to <laughs> be out that's... of your mind. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know why you didn't screenshot that and send it to me so I could I laugh. Should've. I should have. I'll look for it in like my junk mail or something because I have a. <laughs> I have a, like a um a crazy people uh, little tab for my uh, uh, work, you know, my YouTube right. and <laughs> for my YouTube email. And I put, I just put all the crazy stuff in there. So I'm sure I have a few of them That's in there. That's funny. Wow. It was a bunch of Amazing. ladies. Uh, I, I, and I was like, I'm not responding <laughs> to you. Get out of my face. <laughs> I, have, I have a 6,000 pound four wheel drive truck that I'm currently getting a, uh, a steel bumper and a winch attached to. I'm, if I if Natalie was racist, she could not be friends with me. If I own that truck, <laughs> I, um, can we? But well, before the super break. chats, we should finish the sentencing because I don't know. If that. I don't know how long it is, but I think it's decently I can long. Fast forward. I, okay. The problem is we don't know like what we miss by doing that. Yeah, um, but, but I it, it's I do much. need to go though. Um. Me too, unfortunately. I hate it. I hate yeah. it, but I don't know. It's because I'm white. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I do not want to be on Schrodinger's platform Wait anymore. We didn't even get to <laughs> the thing we were here for. You know that, right? I know. I, I know. We, I know. We, we completely missed the entire topic of tonight's discussion. Right. Yeah, we always <laughs> we stopped it, and then we got Glenn, and then it's just like, yoink. Yeah, it, it, and I just enjoy like, myself too much here. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, it's so good. We have, this is way too much fun. We've consistently had seven hundred people watching, so we're oh, doing geez. fine. <laughs> it's yeah, um, you're you're who you are. People love to watch you guys together. Yeah, P these are consistently my highest uh, performing streams. Is when I have the That's lawyer cool. shows. Mm -hmm. That's so with, pretty cool. With actually. the obligatory, the I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> Everybody comes from now. Go. All right. <laughs> All right. I, I, did, I yeah. did enjoy your um your vacation pictures. Like it looked like y'all had a blast. Really? Who Natalie? That, yeah, that did, already is it? always. It's it's great to be in streams with you guys. These are fun. Yeah. I just Absolutely. I love them. Me too. <laughs> but whose vacation pictures are you talking about? I I thought you recently went on vacation. That uh, you, you yeah. were. Yeah, yeah, I took I took a little trip a couple of weekends ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you were all you were all dressed up fancy and stuff. 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those are definitely like my casual airport clothes. <laughs> like, <laughs> so that's the closest I'll come to sweat. <laughs> yeah. okay, but Natalie, this man yeah. wears flip flops and, and. Oh, you fatigue. should see me at airports. Well, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. No, no shouldn't. when you got to go through security, you wear for some flip flops. And no. you know, you no. yeah, you gotta get you gotta get through TSA, you know, easy yeah. peasy. Yep. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen to me, uh my vacation when I go have to chaperone my brother in Vegas. Uh, oh whoa. Well, you have when, to? Uh I'm the best man, so I feel yeah. like I'm obligated oh, to. Oh yeah. Mm, you're the, the least bad man. So yeah. next Saturday we're going to do a uh, We Miss Artie stream on oh my, my channel at <laughs> 7 p.m. I'll be there uh, oh my God. watching. So we'll 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 all mourn while Artie <laughs> is gone for the week. <laughs> yeah. did, did you see the the thing Kick just said about you, Artie? Nope, I did not. I had what it on screen. Go ahead. I love it. it when you angry whisper at me during our streams. <laughs> because you always start off with this dejected sigh of just. <sighs> he does that. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yep. Just, just play the fucking video kick. <laughs> I have heard that so many times. Just play the fucking video. Hey, <laughs> do, you, do you have the link to this audio, um, Marvel? You can put yeah. in the chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, guys. Got to go. No, Sorry. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 I'm putting it bye. in the chat now. Meow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Putting it in the chat now. It'll be from um, Schrodinger. There you go. So, Audio from me? What did I do? I'm putting the link to what we were listening to in the chat from you. Because I'm not going to pick up my phone instead. Should we listen to the like some more of it with um, Kick and OPT here? Um, yeah, I guess, but we probably I, I, got a big backlog of super chats too. Yeah. yeah that'd be cool because I need to be right back anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's do, let's let him go do his thing and do super chats first. All right. Uh, Lily for $5 says, that's what she said. Times infinity times a thousand and one. I beat you all. JK, <laughs> I just had to go from age 31 back to age 10 for a minute. Love you all. Um, <laughs> Joe H for two dollars says I've got ACDC ready to go on my phone. All right. Oh, Metallica is even better. Metallica copyright strikes everybody. Yeah. Uh, Pronun nineteen ninety for four ninety nine says I'm a Nintendo Switch fan. Love you all from a sexy merman. Please hope they sue so I can laugh. They um, won't, but I wish they would. Yeah. Paul Fedrick for ten dollars says. I would love to know how many of these frauditors and sovsets are receiving unemployment or disability from the fraudulent corporate government that they despise or claim not to contract with. Yeah, I've heard of, of a bunch of them talk about that they're getting food stamps and things like that, but they're sovereign citizens. I'm like, how do you square that circle? Yeah. Yeah. It, it You see that with a lot of frauditors too, like Floyd is on uh, SSDI. Right. Hmm. Uh, Fog Repair Ship Akashi for $2 says, Happy wife, happy life. We care about you, SC. Thank you. Slightly irritated wife, entertaining life. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman Goddess of Truth for $5 says, Can someone please post a link to the court documents? Someone needs to review this and humiliate the moronish. Please. I can give you what I have. Um, I don't have the court documents to his trial, though. Okay. I think OPT does, but he's... Uh, or or is that what we're all going in? No, that's Jamal. Okay, my bad. I'm Talk to Jamal. Yeah. Okay. Shut up with that. <laughs> Talk to Jamal. You don't have jurisdiction. <laughs> that's got to be on a t-shirt. Talk to Jamal. I'll add it to my uh, merch store here soon if my artist allows me. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Kibby Texas for four ninety nine says Mrs. Cat needs a necklace and some earrings too. Hashtag pickle gang. Now, now, now a necklace uh, and, and earrings, earrings yeah. and earrings. Still waiting on my RTX thirty ninety. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, I don't know. I'm, I know Tina's probably old enough. Remember the movie I'm going to get you, sucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when when the guy OG'd. Yes. He over gold. 
Mm-hmm. Like he had so much gold necklaces that it killed him. Yo, Jude, yes. Right. That's Silent that's Boy's what we're... on the way to that. <laughs> yeah. Silent Except Boy. with all his all his nickel jewelry with uh Right. With all fake the, gold plating. Yeah, all the all the all the green uh fungus growing on it. Yeah. Uh Michael Krauss for nine ninety nine. As if AMG's email is down, then submarines really do have carpets and window curtains. She remembers oh the first God. she remembers the first time she sailed on the ironclad. Ha <laughs> ha, love you, AMG. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Ouch. Team- Ouch. Were, were you on the monitor or the Merrimack? Oh, you, you know what? <laughs> um, she survived the Titanic, but uh, she doesn't like to talk about it. Cliff. Okay. You started with me. I found you. Remember I Remember that. All right. Uh, Eva Roberts for $10 says, I really don't get the point of suing the officer because cops don't get paid that much. It's probably like 60 K at the highest rate. And even that payment would be small as fuck. It's I can actually answer that the narrative. Um, oh, but go actually, ahead, OPT. <laughs> actually what happens is this, at least in Ohio, uh, statutorily, the city has to indemnify the officer. So even if you're suing the officer personally, like the city still has to like basically pay for it un- unless there's like certain circumstances where they don't have to. And it's like, unless the officer acted recklessly and a few other things and whatnot, then it's on the officer. But yeah, normally the city will just pick up the tab. So, right. So like if, if you're driving a trash truck and you accidentally hit somebody, you know, the, the trash truck driver is not going to be personally responsible for it unless like he was hammered drunk. Right. Yeah, something like that. All right. Um, Michael Krauss for four ninety nine says Tina's email is actually older than dirt at Tina at oh, AOL.com. Oh wow. Um, Her email address whoa. actually predates email. You know, you save this for next week when I'm having it, it it's it's actually um AMG at bigbang dot com. Um, Did you just throw something? <laughs> no. Yeah, her first email was dot 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 dash dash. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Agent of the Matrix. Ten. Her social security number is one. Okay, okay. You, you should oh, save this you're... for next week. You really should. Nicole's great. AMG has a turkey and cheese sub, and uh, she cut windows in it. No, Mrs. Schrodinger. Oh, Miss, oh, I'm yet. sorry. Nicole has a turkey a and cheese sub, yeah. and she cut windows in it. She she sent me a picture just for of you. It. Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it. Did you slam <laughs> your screen your screen door on your submarine there a moment ago? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Um, you can have nothing for next week. You realize that, right? Yeah. yeah the, ne- well, next. Oh next, no, I can I can get worse. We're we're just doing this because next week is not guaranteed for you. Oh God! Wow. Um, okay. A- Agent of the Matrix for ten dollars says AMG, a fictional submarine that does have a window, is the Nautilus from Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Seas. Mm-hmm. Um, John F. Five dollars says I want to speak to your fictitious manager. You're on my land. <laughs> that more lady Who? was hilarious. Yeah, fictitious. Frictitious, she said. No, why, <laughs> why did she keep saying frictitious? She thought that's because, the word. Yeah. That's, it's, it's not a word. Like She she must have been learning from uh, dark taqueria, old bay seasoning or something. <laughs> right. Like, nationality is Mormish. The, very, kind of the <laughs> very first time I was ever uh, blocked on YouTube was um, I, I discovered a, uh, a Morris channel. And I said, if you're a Moor and you're over 65, does that make you an old bay? And I got blocked. (laughs) I was so proud of myself. I'm so surprised. They they actually wrote, you're blocked. Spelled you're wrong. Oh, God. And then blocked me. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Um, Base mechanic, new member. Welcome to Skeptics. And Cynthia Tolman, new member. Welcome to Skeptics as well. Hey. Um, I'm going to be re-upping the um, the scroll this week. Cool. 
Uh, Eva Roberts, ten dollars, says, "If I ever got into some mess, I would hire Natalie without a shadow of a doubt, because I watched the Fallen from Grace reaction, and that movie was a ball of mess." All right. Uh, Eva Roberts again for five dollars says, "F cancer and much love for OPT." Yes, F, F cancer. Uh, F cancer all the way. And and just just to let you all know, if uh, I ever got into trouble too, I would also hire Natalie because you don't you'd never represent yourself. I would. I was just. Uh, I guess we're just on a Natalie kick right now because I was just about to say that I th I fully believe that Natalie will go to war for you. Yeah, yeah she will. Like, oh yeah, she, I know she will. Just she based just, on. Based on everything she has said, like like on these streams as, as a criminal defense attorney, like she is one of the really good ones, right? I, I could just tell. Yeah, I, I, I want her in my corner. Like, I, I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't be you know some lawyer that just shows up and like he doesn't no. even know jack shit and know your like, name. Just met you for the first time. It's like, oh yeah, what's your name again? It's like, hold on, we're at court. This is my first day of my trial. You don't know my name. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure that Natalie is not that lawyer. No. So I don't um, think any of our lawyers are that lawyer. Well, there's Artie. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> um four nine ninety ninety for four ninety nine says I'm willing to role play as a Sobtard or flat earth idiot for anyone's channel. Hashtag Aww. mermaid love. Um, well, we're you... running. We're running out of flat earthers. It's yeah. Um, actually, I think my my next video, um, I found a flat earther that said something so stupid, so incredibly monumentally stupid. I have to make one last flat earth debunk videos, and I think this is going to be my next video. I might make it tomorrow, um, but it's just what he said was so just mathematically. We get it. it. Just, we oh get my it. God! Just, just make some videos. Stop putting us in suspense. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm I'm gonna make it, and hopefully that's gonna be my swan song for flat Earth and just finally be done with it. But some things are so stupid that you can't just let it go. All right. End All of right. rant. All right. Uh, K Rab for five dollars says, "So is it okay for the attorney to lie during closing arguments?" No. During right. closings, no, right? at all. No, right? it's not. And the thing of it is, though, it's like the difference between what's a lie and what's me not spinning the facts in my client's favor. Okay. okay. You know, plausible and, and, explanation. Exactly. Okay. Thank okay. You. Uh, Bernard Cockenshack for five dollars says, "What's your opinion on Long Island audits? He has forty nine point two k followers on YouTube and seems ACLU <laughs> might be helping in his cases." Yeah, we're talking about lo lo Long Island audits. Hey guys, this yeah. is Long Island audits. I'm really <laughs> stupid, but I think that I'm really smart. Yeah, that that that's what he sounds like, people. Um, yeah, he's gotten really lucky. Um, he's got a couple of minor victories, like all in a row and it's got him like, he's way, way up on his high horse. And, uh, it's just a matter of time before he ends up in cuffs. John Moore says, I'm sorry, Cliff. Glenn got five days in jail, two years supervised probation, $245 fine. And he requested to be jailed in November because of his outstanding cases and wants to serve all his time at once. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not leaving the country. Well, according to anytime soon, according to the end of this sentencing, um, the reason yeah. that he pushed it off was because of his so-called part-time job that he lied about having. Oh yeah. He lied to Yeah, absolutely lied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Eva Roberts for $10 says, court costs are greater than just paying the freaking ticket. Do they want to just waste their money? I'm confused here because they're yeah. always asking for money. Well, it's, it's like an MLM or a pyramid scheme. The idea is that they have already invested so much of their time, their belief system, their total structure of personal identity into the fallacious arguments that they take up that the narrative is what they're going to use to try and be a charismatic salesperson 
um, and try to turn it into a financial uh, windfall. And they don't just seek it from the court by suing the, the officer or people in the public uh, because they want somebody to settle out of court and give them money right. just to make them go away. It's not because of the merits of the case. It's give me go away money or I'm going to keep hounding you until you do. Right. Um, and so that sale has to go to the people below them, which are all of the ones that follow the narrative and then pick up a camera and walk around and pretend to be good citizens. Right. right. But what happens? Heavy air quotes. Mm-hmm. What happens to somebody like Josh Abrams when in a few years from now he gets out of jail and it's just like his channel's just decimated because, you know, he you can't just let it. Yeah, but it, we all know how hard it is to start a channel. We talked like about his, this, though, with, with Bill Cosby. Um, there's always going to be an audience mm-hmm. for a certain type of people. Whether yeah, but that's Bill Cosby. To, no, but no, I, I get that. But the idea is the same, right? Yeah. He's he, he can come back. He can start a new channel. He can probably mm-hmm. still get some people. Will he have the same support he did before? No. Uh, will it be financially conducive? No. Uh, will he really? you don't fall think so? into? No. I, I think that no, 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 just like no. many others will fall into irrelevancy like they deserve after a couple of years. Right. But there's a big, there's a big difference between Bill Cosby could, you know, if, if he is even still alive, um, well, I, I guess he's out of jail, so he is still alive. Like he can make enough money to survive. Like, can Josh Abrams come straight out of jail, start a YouTube channel, and make enough money to eat? Like, I think so. I really do. Maybe because he's still a name in yep. that circle. But will he still be a name two years from now? I do think so because he's he's keeping it up. He's got his sycophants. Yeah, his name, as long as his name is on the lips of another sycophant that he's he's got, you know, sold on this idea, uh, he can he can make a return. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm not going to say I mean, that it's beneficial to anybody in society that he does, but no, I mean, it, he could. None like, of it ever was. I, I, I would think that if something happened to me and I just fell off the map for six months and I came back, my channel would just be dead. No, nah, no. Nah. First of all, I would have taken it over, and I wouldn't give it back. And second, (laughs) well, you you got the username and pass password. I got everything. Yeah, you said she has the keys to the kingdom. So, um, if you want my channel, go kidnap her. Um, I I can give you her um, address. And um, moving on, Cliff. All right, Uh, Mark, Oklahoma, new member. Welcome to Tasers. Hey. Um, Gia for forty nine ninety nine says fabulous as usual, guys. Love you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Stephen doesn't, Alley doesn't OPT look fabulous? He does. Hmm. Uh, Stephen yeah. Alley for five dollars says Natalie's ship has an interior decorator. Okay. Uh, Fog repair ship Akashi for two dollars says going through comments didn't end well for butters. I assume uh, that's a South Park reference. Butters from South Park, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Michael Krause for four ninety nine says, "AMG, you forgot to tell him that was back in nineteen oh four, a year after she got the first ever driver's license. That was this year." <laughs> uh, yeah. Cute, so cute. Eva Roberts for twenty dollars says, "Be able to accept the word no. Folks like this have never heard that word. Rewards mm-hmm. for bad behavior doesn't work later in life. It has the opposite effect." No isn't a bad word, and parents should teach that more. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I honestly uh, think most of these auditors or frauditors, whatever, like have never been told no in their life. Yeah, it's the same with Karens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Gia for forty nine ninety nine again. The great words of Patch Adams movie: "You're young. You don't have to be an asshole to get things done." R.I.P. Robin. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. It, it, the, I've, I have found that the opposite is true. Like, if you just, like, are cool with somebody, they're more likely to give you what you want than to, like, try to coerce them into it. <sighs> Especially with, like, a cop. 
because that the power dynamic is so skewed that if you're just cool, like you're a whole lot more likely to get a break than if you're a dick and just give them the incentive to crack down on, you know, uh, to give you the, the maximum, uh, you know, ticket that they can. Oh, Vilified was here. Is here. Oh, hey, Vilified. Cool. Uh, Stephen Alley for two dollars says submarines have driver's licenses. Damn, AMG. Oh my God. They, I should they, get, they I actually should get do. all these super chats because they're all at me. <laughs> do you need a motor, like a motorboat license, to drive a submarine or what? Uh, <laughs> it's not a motorboat license. Uh, it's a vessel, license. and she's traveling. This is maritime law. No, um, yeah, they're very true. You actually, if, if you're going to be the officer of the deck on a submarine, you need what are called dolphins, which is your subsurface warfare pin. And yeah, that's yeah, a qualification yeah. that you have to get. Um, so you have to go through a series of qualifications uh, culminating in a, a board uh, with the department heads, uh, XO and CO of the submarine. And you go in and you answer a bunch of questions uh, that they ask you about uh, different scenarios that you might be in, what you would do if this or that happens, and um, just a whole bunch of uh, sort of like trivia questions, but, you know, super high level questions. And then you walk out of the room and they all talk and say, uh, well, we're going to give this guy his subsurface pin so that he can drive the boat when the skipper and everybody else is asleep and they say yes or no. Um, they pin that gold badge on your chest and then you get to drive the ship. Thank cool. You. Yeah. Um, I, I have a um, surface version of that pin in my shadow box. Cool. Cool. All right. Good. All right, uh, Stephen Al. Sorry, Caucasian sensation for five dollars says agreed with not being an a hole. Adding on, soft sits, frauditors, and Karens create a victim mentality. They're so mistreated and never their own doing. Yeah, yeah. they play the victim card all the time. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Uh, Fog repair ship at Cashy for two dollars says I vote for a read ridiculous comments stream. Mm-hmm. That would be yeah, fun. a couple of weeks from now. Good. All right. Yeah, I, I think we definitely need to do that. Yeah. Just, I um, already. yeah, between all of us, I think we can come up with some n crazy, <laughs> yeah. not especially Natalie, because I think she gets more than her fair share. I, I, just I think, get mean ones. I get mean ones. Yeah, yeah, like all of us should do it. Like uh, Cliff, everybody, like um, Kick. Everybody loves Cliff. That's the thing. Wait, I hate that. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I blanked out. What what's going the, on? We're talking about the comment we're stream. Talking about a yeah, weeks. a comment stream where we just oh yeah, hell yeah. What we all pull up uh, the most hateful shit, yeah. uh, you know stuff that we get. Oh, absolutely! I've got I, plenty of hate. I don't get as many as I want. I'm I'm so I'm, I'm so frustrated. And Tina knows because I say this all the time. Like I. I don't get nearly as much hate as I want. Like I want the hate and I, I just can't seem to get it. I think my favorite one that I ever received was in the beginning when I did a Jeremy DeWitt video and somebody commented that Jeremy DeWitt was doing a video on himself. Uh, hmm. He was. What? Yeah. He had, yeah. Well, they basically, channel. they basically said that I, I sounded just like Jeremy DeWitt trying to yep. make fun of Jeremy DeWitt. I, I I don't think that you and I sound alike. I really don't. He's well, like it's the it's the fact that we share an artist. Oh, that's that's true too. Our avatars yeah. look oh, similar, okay. and so I, I actually had somebody on one of my recent videos say, "Oh wow, another Schrodinger's cat clone." At least you <laughs> no. don't just say that they do a dumb, fantastic. But I'm like half it's my a, style. I, I I'm like half an octave lower. I think. Yeah, you are. Yeah, uh, yeah he's least. smoother. You're lower. You're you're definitely a baritone, <laughs> right? I, so when people say that, I'm like, what? And and, and you sound younger well, right, no, as like, well. It's a visual thing. It definitely is. Yeah, I, um, I, I can see that. But our styles aren't this quite the same either. No, your humor is though. All right, go um, on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can kind of see. All right. Uh, 
Lavender Mexican 2 for $5 says, Natalie, I need a job really bad. I would love to work with you. LabMexican1 at gmail.com. I sent, I, yeah, I uh, sent uh, her uh, Natalie's email. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Is Lavender uh, her? Right. Are we just yep. assuming? Okay. Yeah, we know. <laughs> right. yeah I know. All that. right. <laughs> yeah, we I know. I, I, I'm a dumb dumb. I thought I, no, I, I we assumed. Know. We know her. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Michael Krause for four ninety nine says, "Sure, I'll kidnap AMG. How hard can it be? Grandma can't fight. LOL. Torture, <laughs> torture, t- torture by Glenn ASMR. <laughs> oh God." Um, Simon Mitchner for two pounds says, "A sub needs a diver's license." <laughs> huh. oh, they 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 do have a dive officer, so yeah, yeah. not too far from the truth. Um, Edward Wildenhain for five dollars says, Where "Keep it up, getting? guys and gals." Hmm? I, I I'm going on to the next one. I don't know where you get it. All right, I'm sorry. I'm off. Go ahead. Okay, American B Savage for five dollars says, "I'll quit being an a hole, but I'm forever a poopy head." Vote AMG yeah. first. Kill kick often. Huh. All right. Uh, That's um, every Among Us game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Stephen Alley for two dollars says AMG is SC supervisor. SC is kick supervisor. All right, oh, no, chain <laughs> chain of command there. Yep. Yeah, that sounds legit. Ridge one fifty two for ten dollars says, "Well, SC, I'll call you a swabby." There's some shit talk. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I, I I've swabbed uh, my fair share of decks back in the nineties. <laughs> uh, that's it for super chats. It looks Radial's like here. We're just hey, talking Radical. about you. Who, who are we talking about, Raj? Yeah, Radical's here. We were just Raj. talking about you. You're going to be on the show a couple of weeks from now, Raj. Never heard of her. Mm-hmm. Should I send him a link? Yeah, do, do we got. I guess we could we could do about another five or ten minutes if he wants to come on bullshit with us a little bit. See what he thinks about this idea of um, you know just. Pulling up some hateful comments that it's in, it's in a spot, Raj, but I'll send another one through. Cause some of the some of the comments just don't even comport with reality at all. It's just these uh, assertions that people make about um it's like when PayPal Patty said that I was what what did he say, Tina? I was broke and I live in a van or you're live in a fat, car. You're shack. fat. You're fat. You live in a shack, and you're broke. Right. Which is that? That's three things about me that aren't true. Right. Like I, I you, you might be able to make an argument that I'm fat. I mean, I guess if you really want to be, you know, pedantic about it. You know. But but yeah. live in a shack? No. I mm-hmm. uh, just installed solar panels on top of my pretty sweet house. Oh, you know that's a, a window on your roof of your car. <laughs> right. Um, um, so what was it? Fat, live in a shack. You're broke. And broke. Um, how many thousands of dollars have I given away this year? Um, speaking of stuff that people do together, we, we have that link for the petition to stop the amendment, the First Amendment orders from violating the post offices, remember? I want to share that. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's, you know, because that three R's thing that you got? Yeah. They started a petition because of it. And I'm putting the link in there. Oh, God. You signed it, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, but you said you were putting them in the chat? I did it just now. Okay. Under your name. <laughs> my favorite uh, my favorite comments that I receive is that people automatically assume they know what political stance I have. Based oh my on what I god, say. that drives me insane. It's it's beautiful. And I never I never get into anything politically, which is great. Same. I, I love it. It it drives me nuts because I get people that say you're such a right wing conservative, and then I'll get a message like two minutes later that says you're such a left wing Democrat. All on the same video, and then then all of a sudden I'm a um, right wing 
uh, Christian Zionist, and then I'm <laughs> and then I'm a Catholic, and then I'm a Jew, and then I'm you know all of these different things. I'm like, all of you are looking at the same information and drawing these conclusions about me. Mm -hmm. on things that I absolutely 100% do not take a stance on on my channel. Like how, like you guys are the worst predictors ever. <laughs> oh, we have like, some more super chats. Like Sherlock Holmes, you guys are not. No. Yeah. Do you want to read them now? Yeah, go ahead. Um, Nathan Arndt for $5 says, Schrodinger, I don't hate you, but if you need to feel some hate, I've got some pseudo hate I can give. It's not real hate, but it'll feel like it. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I get plenty. I get I get plenty from the, the guy that calls himself Pedo. And me. Well, yeah, and, and, yeah. and Tina. Uh, but I, I pay her to do it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's almost like... Um, the the people that hired dominatrix like to, just to slap them around with Moving shit. On. Except um, I'm paying her to scream at me about shit that I need to do that I'm already gonna do. Radical's here. Radical with his fake accent. Yeah, what's up with uh, his fake accent? <laughs> That's too stupid. What are you talking about? I don't have a fake accent. Oh my God! He's from well, Tennessee. He's from Tennessee, born yeah, yeah, and yeah. raised. Oh yeah, absolutely. What, what are you talking about? Yes. What are you talking about? I don't have a fake accent. I have no I idea what you are. That is horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> well, you want me to make an accent? I can do that too. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you, you really can't. can't. Oh, <laughs> you really can't. All right, Radical, <laughs> say say, bless your heart, sugar pie. I will not. <laughs> bless your heart, sugar pie. I, I I could probably do a bless your heart sugar pie, but but you let's hear it. But yeah, but I'm I'm from the south, but yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I am team no accent. You do realize that, right? Yeah, you have no we accent. That, that I just said that earlier. Yeah, he did what say accent? that. We don't know. So what we were talking about earlier, I don't know if you were listening, is we're uh, gonna have a stream and just pull up the most ridiculous comments of things that people accuse us of. Yeah, I have yeah. the same problem as you. I said that. Yeah, they do not dread to enter yeah. my castle. Yeah, th there's, th but I can, I can come up with a few. M most of them are just uh, irregular. Shut the hell up. Yeah, I, I told them. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just or people, your best ones. Yeah, people that tell me, well, you should read the law, and I'm like, mm -hmm. what? What do you? Uh, uh, you I, actually bring lawyers on, right? I, I once a month, like actually better than once a month. Recently, mm -hmm. I have lawyers on my show. Like, yeah. What else? What else do you want from me? And, and they're these like, are internet lawyers, right? <laughs> oh my god! Right? Oh no! No. I, th I think I think they 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 would claim that. They well, would, they, absolutely. They, they might. But oh, I've had people question whether or not I'm actually a lawyer. Really? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, all the time. Oh yeah. yeah. Cause, just because I put lawyer in my name, you know, they're like, "Well, you're not really a lawyer." Like, oh, okay, okay, sure. My bar, I my bar exam says otherwise, but whatever. I, I exactly. Can't. Kind of like the uh, the truth with all the uh, the the flat earthers and conspiracy idiots and right. news now with right. all the fraudsters, right? Yeah, exactly. When I was a little kid, I thought bar exam was something you went to to learn how to mix cocktails. And oh. stuff. <laughs> I, I have people claim that um, I was never a Navy officer, but then I'll send them links to when I was featured in the Navy Times, like from the Navy Times <clears throat> with my actual real name. And then all of a sudden it's just nothing. I, I don't get any response. Yeah. Like, it's like Lieutenant Cliff Overby is at this, you know, uh, orphanage because I, I did that. I, I did a tour as a, um, um, uh, shit, what did we call it? Um, really? Uh, but when you do uh, social uh, engineering, like you, you go and you just uh, civil. Civil engineering? God damn it. No, civil not civil engineering. Uh, civil wow. affairs. 
God oh. damn it. God yeah. dang. Uh, yeah, I was a civil affairs officer for a short period of time. And so we would go to like orphanages and all this in the Middle East. And so uh, there was a an article in the, uh, in the Navy Times with me. And, and I'm in the picture and it says Lieutenant Cliff Overby, civil affairs officer, you know, and I got this little, you know, eight year old girl, you know, that I'm, you know, giving candy and shit. And so all of a sudden, nothing. Like they yeah, were like, you, you were never, you were never an officer in the, in the military. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, what about this? And then nothing. Yeah. So it, it's, I think it's the default position when you don't want somebody that you hate, uh, to be honest, you just accuse them of not being honest. Just like you, you know, yeah. somebody says, well, they you're not a lawyer. Us. They judge us by their standard. Right. So you're not a lawyer. Well, here's my law license. Well, nothing, you know, just radio silence in, in return. Yeah. Um, Wait a minute. But, no, you're not Ann Anderson. You're not a nobody. There you go. By the yeah. way, Radical, what's with your name? I, I think that's his actual name. Uh huh. <laughs> Stick the uh, hell to aristocrat. <laughs> Dumbass. I, I, I thought that was hilarious when he called you out the other day. Sir Sick? Yeah, Sir Sick called out Radical, and I yeah. immediately yeah. Um, messaged him. <laughs> What's some funny thought, stuff? <laughs> nah, the funniest one was when the plot hole was doing a story on Radical and showed a picture of Sir Sick. Yeah, yeah. he does it all the time, <laughs> but then he does a story on Sir Sick and shows uh, my, yeah, my picture. that's cute. Right. right. By the way, this is Willem uh, of Orange. Willem van Oranje. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's... On there. It, it, it's, oh, this is it's, one, the original one. Okay. <laughs> it's cool that we can all do that with each other, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, 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 we're all cool with each other, like a, a different from the other side. Oh god. Where they all have these feuds, and they're so serious about it, they can't laugh at themselves. They no. do not laugh at themselves. Right. It's it's oh, they don't Jerry know what Springer is. level like fucked up relationships. Yeah. Yep. It's 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 right. a beautiful train wreck. Right, and I hate it when it happens over here. I really do. Mm -hmm. um, we know, you know what that is. Yeah, I, I, I do, and uh, and I, I can't, uh, I, I, I can't abide it. And like people try to draw me into these fights, and no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take Drama. your. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know, I, I'm not gonna. Uh, take a side one way or the other i'll mediate it behind closed doors if that's what y'all really want but i am not a leader in this community uh the only thing that i am is just big a mouth. dude that makes yeah i'm just a big mouth dude that makes videos i'm not going to be a leader over here I, I was a leader for 22 years i'm done mm -hmm. you know so there you go mrs schrodinger's cat is true for if you want to hear somebody say bless your heart oh That's god yeah she's got the southern accent of all southern accents she really does it's awesome yeah yeah tina's talked to her on the phone so she knows that's it's like awesome tennessee on steroids <laughs> like I, I i have a southern accent but mine's mild i could listen to your wife read oh. like numbers Recipe. like she could read all the digits Hell of pi yeah. and i would listen to it yeah, three, one, four, one, five. No, you're not even close. Nine, to three. No, not even close. No, not you, even no. close. Stop. No. Stop. You're <laughs> making a mockery of it. She's got <laughs> her. Her voice is sunshine, Dolly Parton, all wrapped up into one. Pretty much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's the best ever. Her right. voice is like a cup of sweet iced tea mm. on an sweet autumn tea. afternoon mm -hmm. with a light breeze. Well, it's got lemon in it, too. I would do lemonade. Yeah. I would go for lemonade. lemonade. I would go for lemonade. You guys get a lot of flavors out of a uh, pound. You've got to hear her voice, dude. You, 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 you'd say to me, yeah, you know what, AMG, you're right. I wonder if I could. Like, I would never say that. I've like, asked her to come on thing, and, but... and, and say something, but she won't. So. No, I wonder if, if I could like make a video because the way I make videos is I go through and I write a script all the way through 
And then the last thing I do is record the audio. I wonder if I could make a video and then have her read the script. You should. And then edit it in. Um, that might work. That mm -hmm. might that might be my first two million hit video. Word voice, absolutely. It might be like just the the gimmick of it. Even She's gonna if nothing kill me else. For that. She's gonna kill me for this. <laughs> well, if she wants that goddamn necklace, then <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna let that go, are you? No, nah, did me? No, <laughs> the fucking subscribers are pushing this twenty thousand dollar necklace that I'm supposed to buy. Oh, by the way, I wasn't the only one wrong. You claimed it was five thousand. I'm was pretty sure I said four. No, well, it's, he said either four. way, either way, it wasn't. It was thirty nine hundred and change. So you're thirty nine hundred and seventy something. I was off by like not four thousand. Not even not 30 bucks. You were wrong too. You were wrong that too. That is four thousand. That's no, a no. rounding error. You did I say you were rounding it, so sorry. You were wrong too. Okay, I was off by thirty dollars. You were off by a thousand. Uh, no, you said twenty three hundred. I said twenty nine. Nine. But then you were off by eleven hundred. No, eleven hundred versus thirty. No, it wasn't. It, it was 39 and change. I said 29 and change. So I was off by 1,000. I don't believe you. Uh, whatever. Go, go ahead, Cliff. All right. To, uh, today's payday. I can you know pay you or not pay, pay you. Man. <laughs> I thought it was, this was not a drama channel. What What's going on now, then? Huh? I know. Nelly loves it. Just oh, quit, just hey. quit being ahead. a bitch. Stephen after Halley. You, after you. Good. If you guys would uh, stop rudely interrupting uh, Cliff here, uh, yes, that would be yes. very much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, Radical. Uh, Stephen Alley for. Um, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stephen Alley for $2 says, You put solar panels on your van? <laughs> you. <laughs> solar panels on. <laughs> They that, should put that, them that on submarines. Good. That's where that way. When oh, they okay. Surf, no, 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 no. <laughs> when they no, surface, they can recharge. Now. Them. They're making fun of him now. You stop that. Does a submarine have oh, a water but... wheel? You know. Oh god. No, I'm not making fun of you. I'm making oh, fun okay. of the oh, okay. stupid good. idea okay. of putting <laughs> solar panels on submarines. Um, Russell Gal for four ninety nine says it's weird how common sense is considered political. Mm-hmm. Cinda Lucian for $10 says, trying to remember who had the video this past week of Prince William County Police reading the poster seven of the oh, Prodigy. Yeah. I was so oh, that was on my channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yep. that was on my channel. Like, uh, I think shit yesterday. Yeah, it was him. Yeah, That's what he's saying. Go yeah. Ahead. I was so proud of my former county police for that. I was oh. too. That was great. Of that cop. Yeah, the, the cop actually read it and was like, what? Yeah. And, 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 he was still like, he but was posters, arguing it. Yeah, yeah. He was still like, but poster seven. It's like they, he just read it to you, dum dum. For the first time ever, you heard it for the first time ever. You know, because obviously they don't read the whole thing. They don't read. They just do. They parrot. Go ahead. Cliff. All oh, right. God. Um. Michael Krauss for four ninety nine says LMAO Dominatrix AMG SC be honest. Does she still have the original leather outfit and whip she used in the old testament? I'm leaving. Yes, and are we the, already uh, ra roasting her? I've got my roast. I, I don't have I don't no, have to roast they've been doing it all show. They've been doing it all show. They're not gonna have <laughs> anything next week. Yeah, she has a um an Iron Maiden. She is the original Iron Maiden. Oh my god. You didn't Obviously, you don't know what an Iron Maiden is. I did know what an Iron Maiden what is. is. It? What is it? It's the coffin thing that with the spikes. Okay. It's a 1980s rock band. Well, yeah. that too. You know, you you guys <laughs> have you ever heard of the Blood Countess Elizabeth Elizabeth Bathory? Yeah. Her dad is the one who created that. Yeah. Remember how she tried to call us out on not knowing what the Iron Maiden is? She was trying to tell us that she's older than us. We already know that. I... Hate All right, so much. Go Back ahead. to it. Wonder Woman, Goddess of Truth, for ten dollars says regarding the fake accent, they did the same thing to Charles Shaughnessy on the nanny. 
People wrote in and told him to take lessons from Daniel Davis, who's from Arkansas. Get out, really? I Apparently. hate that show. Yeah. Hey, I'm oh, I hate her voice. I hate her voice. So. <laughs> but she was fun to look at, though. I knew you were gonna say something like that. Well, I mean, that, that, truth is truth. I mean, what's not she not fun to look at? Just got some wasabi in her, and she has a sexy voice, right? What's 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 going on with this? Oh no, don't worry about that. It's just somebody in the chat who's got a opposing viewpoint, and I'm trying to get them to drill it down to some specifics. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Uh, Fog repair ship Akashi for two dollars says they started the fake veteran spiel with FTFE too. Yeah, big enough to that. Go ahead. Any more? Yeah, I, I, I remember that whole thing with uh, FTFE. Yeah, yeah. Like they blame the wrong person for it. Right. Go ahead. Any more? Um, Michael Short for two dollars says it has been almost an hour. Get back to the trial. Oh, you, I, I thought we gave that up. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, uh, we're, we're winding it down. This yeah. Point. Uh, Stephen Alley for $2 says, Only 20 k at that price, you need to buy two earrings. I think, oh, come in, I think they come in pairs already. I'm putting the link again in the chat under, under Schrodinger's name. If you want to listen to the whole thing, it's a long sentencing, apparently. Oh. Um, Tread for four ninety nine says, "Did we finish listening to the judge?" Yes, we. Yeah, have. that's what I just put in the chat. Yeah. Now that looks. I like could try to get to the end if you wanted me to, but we do lose whatever's in the middle. It's up to you. Hold on, I was AFK for a second. What happened? <sighs> <laughs> I said I could try to find the end of that recording. If you want, I can, I, I can just give it out here. It, it was already mentioned yeah, earlier uh, by Mo Don Everybody. Moore, I think. Um, Glenn got five days in jail, uh, two years supervised probation, two hundred and forty-five dollar uh, fine. He, the one thing that we missed, uh, there are two parts that we missed. The first was um, Glenn requested to have it pushed two weeks out uh, because of his part-time job, heavy air quotes, uh, <laughs> that he lied about. Um, Unless he considers part, YouTube his part-time job. Right. The second part that we missed, which was glorious, is when the judge actually stated the sentencing. You can hear Glenn go, fuck. Right. I want to hear that. All right, I'm going to find it. I'm finding that one. You, have, right. you don't have a well, time stamp for that, right? I don't have a time stamp. I listened well, to it while I was well, working yesterday. Well, while you do that, let's just reflect on this. You can't hear it when I'm playing it, can you? This this was a traffic stop. Like this was a nothing. That yeah, it it, it could have been like uh you know maybe on the high end. Like a two hundred dollar, you know, fine. Instead, he's doing five days in jail, and oh, then, yeah. uh, and then subsequent, um, you know, consequences. Like this was nothing. This is what these people do: they take minor traffic stops and they turn them into jail time. It's ridiculous. He pushed I think it I have out. A sentence. Yeah, he pushed it out to like a Wednesday, I think. And the judge ordered, I, I believe it's August 11th, that he needs to turn himself into the jail. Yeah. You want me to play what I found? Yes. Go for it. All right. Let's see if I got what, I, what I'm supposed to. Tell me right away if, if it's not what you think it is. What I think it is. All right, here we go. November 15th, 2019. Those are his last two. Uh, driving related offenses, what we're here for today. On July 16th, 2018, he was found committed for speeding 19 miles an hour over the speed limit. On March 6th, 2018, he was found committed on speeding 17 miles an hour over the speed limit. On June 9th, 2019. Is this wrong? He was found committed to... Uh, no, keep, sound, keep sounds going. right so far. Okay. You know, answer. His... 
prior history, which she doesn't even tell you, she just looked at it, justifies an enhanced penalty over normal cases is equally inappropriate. If she wants to talk about a sentence, she needs to tell us what it is and what, what his history is, and I'm not aware of it. Uh, and he has, as many people do, some infractions, I believe. But, as many people uh, do. He and the city have had an ongoing disagreement about <laughs> his conduct or his contact with officers, but not Officer Jacoby. Officer Jacoby pulled him over, but by the time he came up to the car, he'd already called for a supervisor. His dealings were with somebody else. And to suggest that somehow his history with Officer Jacoby, which he doesn't have, I don't think he'd ever seen Officer Jacoby or either. He has since. Um, is just not justified. And if you'll recall, this is the case where they said, oh, Officer Jacoby, we need a continuance. He can't be here today because he's on he's on vacation. And then we called. It was just his day. I'm going to pass for a little bit more. Yeah. That, I yeah, we've heard, we heard this. this. A retaliatory yeah. charge from oh. Brett Jacoby. Oh, that is done. Okay. Get along with, with my client. But for her to... Let me find the beginning of time ago. This man is... Yeah, let it run 30, from here. Okay. Right. After the prosecutor. We're talking it, about it. Jacoby was right. the one that he would follow around I and understand. say Jacoby yeah, was going record. to jail. Yeah. But he has had no contact with this officer before and, and minimal contact with the minimal? city recently. Mm-hmm. Um, I would ask that not be considered the, some sort of a record that should be enhanced as punishment. That was Thank not you. minimal. That was not minimal. Mr. Serio, anything else, Mr. Jones, before I turn to Mr. Serio? Nothing further from me. Mr. Serio, this is your opportunity to address the court before I end Oh, this sentence. is going to be you dumb. You don't have to speak to me at all if you don't want to, but this is your opportunity speak. to tell me anything you want me to know speak. before Please I post sentence. He does. Please is there speak. anything you'd like yeah. me to know? I would like to let you know that Brett Jacoby made some misleading statements during the trial. One of the things he said was that I was blocking the roadway on 12th and Maple. If you go back and you watch the video, I'm two inches from the curb. I'm parked alongside the curb. Also, Miss Offit, she has made some misleading statements to the jury. Mm -hmm. She has said that I unknowingly, subconsciously admitted guilt. She is not a psychologist. She cannot change the jury's, you know, answer. So she's use words in a way she huh. broke the law what anything else you want me to know um i didn't commit the crime there was no uh there was use no words. high speed he admitted to me not driving over the speed limit there's no racing there's no victim there's no property damage there's nothing this none of that was alleged driving. it's a retaliatory charge from Brett Jacoby. For what? If you didn't know him. Yeah. Pa uh, yeah. Pa Pauls. Anything else? It, 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 everything that he says, there was no this, no that, no this, no that. None of that was even alleged. So mm -hmm. why are you even saying that none of that happened? It's like there was no breaking or entering. Like, of course, uh, nobody said there was breaking or entering. But like, how is it retaliatory if he didn't ever see Brett Jacoby before that? <laughs> Right, like Glenn, you're so dumb. I mean, yeah. it's it, it's okay to be stupid. Like it's fine. Like um, my my dogs compared to me, they're stupid, but I love them. But my they know they're stupid, and I love them in spite of the fact they're stupid. But my dogs don't try to like play tricks on me. And tell me that you know they're they're not driving, they're traveling, and trying to start my car and you know drive it down the road. Like it's it's okay to be stupid, Glenn. Just know that you're stupid and you could be lovable. No, you can not ever. Well, I mean, I, I, the, theoretically. Yeah, theoretically. <laughs> Even then, it's a stretch. This guy is a. Bigoted, racist, homophobic. He's all the right. He kicks yeah. all the boxes. Yeah. It's like he wants to be despicable. 
my, my my dogs aren't racist, bigoted, homophobes. But I need to ask OPT though. Did he my my dogs are better than you, Glenn. Did he just hurt his case? <laughs> What'd you say? Did he just hurt his case? I mean, as much as like the judge is not going to listen to him, probably. Because, I mean, that doesn't make sense. If he never saw Jacoby, how could it be retaliatory? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah. Okay. All right. Let's hear what they have to say. That's all I got. Thank you. So here's what I uh, want the parties to know uh, about a couple of things. One, uh, I am, I remember the trial very vividly. I'm not going to um, make any indication one way or the other as to the credibility of Mr. Serio, at least being familiar or unfamiliar. I don't really feel like that matters as to the imposition of sentence, nor did it particularly matter to his driving in this case. Uh, I already made a finding about his credibility when it came to the infraction. I also don't like in general that there's some sort of trial tax, that there is huh? a that's a normal thing to increase. Is like, that like actual tax? No, 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 no. What they um, mean is that the sentence is going to be higher just because he's uh, just because guy. he's he went to trial. Oh, that, okay, gotcha. That is the thing that courts really do not like for the obvious reasons. Because, like, are you saying that? Oh, if you bring it to trial, I'm going to make it worse for you. Exactly. Yeah, that's what gotcha. they're trying. That's what that's what a trial tax means. Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but most, like, courts don't, I should say, uh, appellate courts don't like that. I can see why. Yeah. All right. But should that, uh, that this is probably for a different what, conversation. What the, what the judges who will, like, sentence harder on trials will say is that you've shown no remorse. Mm, okay. But... It wouldn't that be situational? Like if you, if there's a case to be made that you're right, wouldn't that trial tax be much less than if you're obviously wrong? I mean, yeah, that's what. Like most of the time, like you go to trial, or whatever. But yeah, sometimes, like you go to trial and you have no legal reason to go to trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just get wasting that. their time, then yeah, you're gonna be more likely to. Okay. Uh, like uh, that I makes sense do. too. Well, yeah. we don't wanna we don't want to belabor this. This is probably something for a different live stream. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. okay. okay. It's time simply by going to trial. It is a person's constitutional right to go to trial and have the city prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. And to me it, it uh, not saying that that's necessarily what happened here, but it does seem like there's a big difference between an infraction and asking for 15 days in jail. And the only difference is, is taking accountability for his actions and going to trial. I can inform the parties of that at this point. I also uh, have looked at his and read into the record what his driving related history is and i am going to consider that in the imposition of a sentence Good. as mr jones indicated this is all well, the jury did find him guilty and it is and mr jones's career uh he doesn't think it is the most egregious and it is not the most egregious but it is still reckless driving and he was convicted of reckless driving one would have hoped that when Mr. Serio was a juvenile back in 2004, when he started to get infractions, he would have uh, obeyed, obeyed the traffic laws a little bit more stringent than he has been in his history, uh, most recently getting this conviction for reckless driving. Had he heeded the infractions that he had been convicted of or committed of in the past, probably wouldn't be here today. But he didn't. <laughs> right. And he grew exactly. up in a residential neighborhood next to the Boys and Girls Club where there's a school and some apartment buildings wow. that I was highly testified to by all parties. And he drove in a reckless manner. And by definition, it was willful or wanton disregard for safety of persons and property. And that cannot go unpunished. Oh. So I'm going to impose some. Did you hear what, him? Was that Glenn? Yeah, saying Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
Well, that he's the one that did it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. But he knows it's not going to go well, so here it goes. Like, I, maybe, Listen closely. Maybe it's just me. Like, I, I'm a cautious driver. And what I have learned in all of my years of, of driving, which are substantial, um, let's see, uh, 30 plus years, um, you get there just as fast driving cautiously as you do driving like a crazy person. So there's there's no value added to driving insane. Mm. So just slow the fuck down, like people. Like you're don't gonna be save, a Glenn. Don't be a Glenn. Right. Basically. You're gonna save kids, you're gonna save dogs, uh, which we all value dogs and kids. Um you're you're gonna save a lot of bumpers and a lot of court time. Just slow the fuck down and just chill out. It, it, Don't you're be just angry. Dri- yeah. Right. Just, just, just drive. It, it, like. I want to hear this, please. Uh, okay. I'm just saying because. All I, right, Dad. I, uh, All right, Dad. We hear you. Y- y- you, can, you can let me finish Marvel. my goddamn. Why are these kids all driving so fast on the road? <laughs> Marvel, Damn, he's kid. not mad. He's just disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You just see him rolling down his window, waving his stick at all the cars. Right. <laughs> Taking all off I'm... his glasses and shaking his Pointing, head disapprovingly. Shaking his, shaking his <laughs> finger. Don't do it. Yeah. All I'm saying is mm-hmm. calm down. Like uh, That's my main point to everybody everywhere, every day. Calm the fuck down. All right. Okay. Jail and this. I'm not going to impose 15 days. I don't think that's appropriate. Um, I think that is, for all intents and purposes, a trial tax. Um, There is no clear explanation that I can justify that 15 days is appropriate. Mr. Jones, do you know if the jail does work release or if Mr. Serio is working? I don't think they do work release anymore. Be honest, Your Honor, I'm not sure. There, there's it's a mess over there right now. I've been in and out. They, they wouldn't let me in to see a client yesterday because I didn't. I had to post uh, twenty five dollar fee for an attorney to see his client, which is preposterous. When I got there, that they is required. That is to post it to get them to. That is preposterous. They're, here, so they're, they're in a mess. I don't know what they're doing to work with these. I suspect they're not. They don't have it available. You're right. Your Honor, I can confirm they do not offer work release. They do not offer work they release? That was the longest explanation of I, I didn't ask and I didn't want to find jail, out. Which they had right. I know, right? <clears throat> the 2300 before COVID. If he's on, what's the ratio? If, is it, if he, let, let's say I impose five days and he's on good behavior, he'd serve three? Correct. Is that about right? And they do it lower than five days. They don't. Your Honor, um, on sentences of 10 days or more, it is a, what is it, two-thirds? Two-thirds. It's a two-thirds ratio. So on a sentence of 10 days, he would serve six or something. I think they round down. Is that right, I Madam Clerk? Mr. Van Fleet, do you know <laughs> if it's a sentence under 10 days, if it's two-thirds? When I've had fine sentences that have already been in jail, it's, it, they've always been given a third off. Uh, third off? A third off. So two, they serve two-thirds. That's my understanding. He won't do. He won't be good. So it doesn't matter. Good time credit is literally just like shutting up, which mm-hmm. I know he can't. One do. thing we didn't address before I imposed sentence, Mr. Jones, is uh, Mr. Serio's ability to pay uh, now and in the future. <laughs> no. No. None. Unemployed and receiving, re, uh, living on. Uh, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. He said. <laughs> did he say that? Yeah, yeah he said it. Don't say oh. it. Yes, he oh, did. Yeah. Keep, keep going. Okay. I have a part time job. Okay. Yeah. What? He doesn't want to say YouTube. He doesn't want to say YouTube. Right? Is that what he's saying? Don't say it. I, I, I think that's what he's saying. But look at his views. Uh, 
he's not he's not getting any revenue off his channel. He just doesn't want them to know he does YouTube, I guess. Here we go. Or that's what, his only quote unquote job. Yeah. Which, just a casual estimate he gets like, around two hundred bucks every month, maybe. And that's that's being very generous. All right, everyone at low because I want to hear it all. To be honest, Your Honor, I'm not sure. There, there's it's a mess over there right now. Oh wait, that's too much. Sorry. They... Fees, which is the criminal conviction fee, the probation fee, and the traffic penalty assessment for a total of two hundred and forty-five dollars and fifty cents. I'll give you. Uh, to start payment 60 days from today's date, $50 a month, and we'll give you a period of 24 months to make all the payments. So you have two years to make all the payments. Uh, I am also going to um, require monitored probation for that period of 24 months. You need to, I don't, I'm not gonna make you attend an anger management course. There is no, oh. dang uh, I don't think that would also be a crime related prohibition. I'm just going to make that sure that you uh, not drive a motor vehicle unless you're properly licensed and insured, have no criminal law violations and no similar law violations. I'm not also not going to prohibit you from contacting uh, Officer Jacoby as well. I am going to impose 364 days in custody, suspending 359 for you to serve five days. It's my understanding um, that if you are on good behavior, you'll be out. If you get a third officer, you'll likely be out in three. What is the city's position as to Mr. Serio reporting at a certain date or being taken into custody today? Mr. Seri has appeared for most, if not all, of his court dates, so I have no objection to setting a report date. For when? Mr. Jones, when could, if I, I am imposing five days, I don't know if he is going to get good time or not based on whatever the jail's calculation is, but my intention is to impose five days, and my intention is to also Hopefully that will be a sufficient period of time to appropriately punish and deter Mr. Serial from doing this type of offense or any driving related offenses in the future. Just uh, if I give him a return so end date, when could he turn himself into the So for all the people that say that the the courts like impose all these harsh sentences and all this, like Glenn Serio is probably one of the most egregious people that we follow in this community and he only got five days i think it was very fair but and I mean, he also got two years probation is the thing though yeah right but they're also trying to mitigate it at the same time they're they're trying to you know uh talk to the prosecution and the defense and try to you know let's well, that's see normal how how yeah. we can whittle this down. He's very fair. He's very so, fair. That's, nor that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. Oh, I, I, I know that's normal, and that's what I'm saying is, oh. like, they're not trying to just hammer him over the head. No. Like, and th that's what the judge said. Right. They're, they're trying to, to, to work on it and try to give him every angle that they can. So all these people that are just like, oh, you know, it's just the hammer of justice you know, uh, that that's bullshit. Like, uh, Glenn is a monumental asshole. Yeah. And they're still trying to work with him, is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Well, yeah. OPT and, and Natalie and Artie all made the point earlier. We know Glenn is a racist, useless bag of human organs. And <laughs> he he does not provide any sort of benefit to society as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. The problem that we run into is only a few of the things that he does put him into court. And when he does go to court, the reality is, is that a lot of the other stuff that he does doesn't bear relevance onto the charges that he's facing. So even though, yes, it can show from a character perspective, what type of person that he is, it's not going to 
give us the satisfaction that we're looking for. Because, I mean, let's face it, you, I, everybody in the chat um, who's, you know, sensible is going to say, yeah, lock this fool up and throw away the key. We've seen the type of things that he, he can do. But being an asshole isn't illegal. Oh, yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that he, in spite of the fact that he's an asshole, they're still working with him. Mm. Uh, that's that, the benefit, though, of the court system nowadays. Um, right. And, and, and I, I, I agree. That's the way that it should be. So for anybody out there that says, you know, that the court's just trying to hammer them, uh, I give you this and I'll, um, as an alternative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah as you said, this is very normal. So, yeah, it's anyone who says otherwise is just not paying attention. All right, let's finish this up because I haven't eaten all day. Thank you, you will eat when I will tell you to eat. Snohomish County Jail. Mm -hmm. November. Pardon? November. He's saying November. <laughs> My client has suggested November, Your Honor, just because he's... I was, I was thinking within a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. We have, we have, um, <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. Multiple cases pending with off off it. She doesn't want to make any offers. She just so until we get those handled, I don't see me. Let's. We'll, I'll just do all the jail time at once if I if I'm, if I'm found guilty of all charges, rather than do segments of jail. He's already time been found enough. guilty. It's no, just got all the got cases. Four more cases coming up. Oh shit! Okay. Four more, yeah. Mr. Sarah, I understand your feeling toward Miss Offit. I, I don't think necessarily I would be in a different position if I was in your shoes. I wouldn't like the person who convicted me of a crime either necessarily. <laughs> we're going to deal with one case at a time. There was no any kind of, and that's before me right now. I have imposed five days on this. I don't know if you are ever going to be convicted of any other crimes. I had, I'm not going to consider anything that they have pending charging against you. I'm not going to. That's not why I imposed this sentence. Yeah. She's got a personal vendetta towards me. Oh, then my God. I've already filed a complaint with the Bar Association oh, and the good judicial for you. system. So, Mr. So, Serio, please don't interrupt me again. He's throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, the, the, judge basically, the judge basically just told him... Uh, you're not the feeling. Uh, I'm not going to be the feelings police. Right. Yep. <laughs> right. The translation of she's got a vendetta against me means she does her job. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. She's not doing what I want her to do. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. November. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing it again. I want to hear it. November, Your Honor, just because he's I was, I was thinking within a couple of weeks. We have we have um, multiple cases pending with off off it. She doesn't want to make any offers. She just so until we get those handled, I don't see me. Let's we'll, I'll just do all the jail time at once. If I I found he's not saying can I do all the jail. He's like let's do it. He's like suggesting like he has any control. Yeah, it that be is asked. ridiculous. Like, like honestly, I see his point. Mm -hmm. uh, the judge is the judge's point. The counterpoint is also very, very more valid. than valid. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just exactly, and and that's exactly what I would do as a judge. But I see his point, yeah, and I, it's he, not a terrible argument to say, "Look, I've got these other cases. If I get convicted, I just like to do all the jail time at once." I right. get that, but that's not going to happen. And if he had gone at him with like. Sir, I have all these things coming up. May we maybe think about doing it? Not like, let's do this. Uh, the judge you wouldn't know? have gone for it anyway. But yeah, it would have been but more still, polite. Yeah. He shows no respect. He might have anybody. thought about it. I'm found guilty of all charges rather than do segments of jail time. I'm, you know. So, Mr. Sarah, I understand your feeling toward Miss Offit. I, yeah, I don't <laughs> think necessarily. Because you heard him say it, it, off it, not miss off it. He called mm -hmm. her off it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it just reminds me of the um, the Jim Carrey line. Stop breaking, breaking the, the law, law asshole. asshole. Yeah. yeah. Really, I would be in a different position if I was in your shoes. I wouldn't like the person who convicted me of a crime either necessarily. <laughs> But we're going to deal with one case at a time. There was no any kind of, and that's before me right now. 
I have imposed five days on this. I don't know if you are ever going to be convicted of any other crimes. I I'm not going to consider anything that they have pending charging against you. I'm not going to. That's not why I imposed this sentence. She's got a personal vendetta towards me. Then and you're, I've already uh, filed a complaint with the bar association yeah, and the judicial system. So, so Mr. Serio, please don't interrupt me again, or I'll take you into custody. Okay. And you'll serve yes. you sure. ah! Um, giving you a chance to turn yourself in at a later date. Your attorney can file a motion for vindictive prosecution or something at a later date if there is something that is warranted uh, at a later date, but we're not addressing that at a, that time. I am considering um, you have really one of two options. Be taken into custody today and start serving your time today on this matter or uh, agree to report to the Snohomish County Jail at a later date I am not inclined to set it any longer than two weeks, so it give you some time to put your whatever affairs you need to put in order before you get, turn yourself into custody. Mr. Jones, talk to Mr. Serio about when he could, if he preferred to do it today or within two weeks. I suggest you put it out two weeks. You don't want to do it right now. Two weeks, yeah. And that'll give us time to talk about it. Your Honor, I obviously this is a painful situation for my client oh, I get it. and i would like as much time as possible because i, I need to talk and that would if the court's willing to consider two weeks i would ask you to set it up two weeks that'll give me time at least to talk to him and decide where we're headed his other matters are set for um august 3rd and august 9th so I think two weeks uh, will be after those days. What is two weeks from today for the calendar? I think that's the 11th. Wait a minute. If he's doing the 3rd and the 9th or whatever she said, why did he want November? Because I, I don't know. The, the, the only downside is that I don't get to make videos about him. Yeah. It, they might be pre-trials. They might not necessarily be, like, up yeah, for he's trial planning those on days. putting it off as long as we can. Obviously. Of course. Yeah. Continue, continue, continue. Yeah. It's five days, Glenn. Jeez. I know. Bitch. We'll but that's five days to can make videos report. about him. It's, it's five right, days yeah. of forced bathing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> what I'm looking forward to is how hard how hard it's gonna be for him to not talk back. Oh yeah. That's it's already hard. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's guy. already spewing out crap about like his vendetta against the prosecutor, which means absolutely nothing. Like you do not live in her head, Glenn. She does no. not think of you at all. Well, Ever of a vendetta. Yeah. Oh no, You're she so far beneath her. She can't no. See she you. goes. She goes. Some goes to bed. Like. But like. Um, yeah, no, I don't think he can be good. Did, he, could he possibly get more time if he's bad in there? Well, that's the thing. It's a probation. Mm. If you if you if you violate the terms of your probation, you go in for the rest of the days that he's No, suspended. I'm talking about while he's in the five days. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if he violates probation in there, but that's hard to do. Like if he's a bad inmate. No, they don't normally give you bad like well, they don't normally give you bad time on top of what you okay. got. I, yeah. no, just, but, just, just keep them in for the five days. I've seen it in the movies. I didn't know if it was real. Yeah. You know? because it's, it's, we kind of decided that that was a bad thing. Yeah, okay. Because it, he would he would have to be bad in terms of other inmates and let's Kill be honest. Somebody. Well, no, no, just to be in opposition of another inmate. And let's be honest, Glenn's not that type of dude. No, he's going to back down. He won't right. talk shit so, to anybody in there. No. Yeah, he's going to be the best inmate ever. Probably, yeah. No, yeah. I could imagine his celly asking him, hey, what are you in for? Oh, you know, just being racist and breathing heavily in yeah. post offices. <laughs> right. Right, right. I use too much oxygen I can imagine Estelle going, hey, how much money you got on the books? You're going to buy me some stuff at the commissary. Right. And Glenn's saying, yes, sir. Yeah. We should we should do like a uh, crowdsourced funding thing where we all get into like a uh, a van and drive up to where Glenn is and follow him around in hazmat suits <laughs> wow. and, and power wash everywhere he, he's walked and touched. That's, I'll that's, drive. Let's get get him get him some uh you know some pretzels or uh, I'm a Pringles. little far away from Washington to do that, but you guys go right ahead. I'm gonna get 
I'm gonna give Glenn like ten bucks to put on his commissary so the other inmates can take it off him. Right. All right. All right let's finish this up because I <laughs> really gotta yeah, go. Finish this up right, right before the weekend so that they don't miss work. So, Mr. Sarah, I'm going to have you report to the Snohomish County Jail no later than August 11th at 4 p.m. That way you can serve your commitment for this charge. Mm -hmm. I have to inform you, and I already informed you after you were convicted, but I'll inform you again that you have the right to appeal your conviction. You have the right to a lawyer on appeal. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided to you at no cost. To appeal, you must file notice of appeal with a superior court within 30 days of entry of the final decision. You must immediately serve a copy of the notice for appeal on all other parties. You must pay for the cost of preparing the record within 10 days after the clerk notifies you the record and is ready and transmitted. If you are indigent, the court may excuse you from paying. If you fail to file and serve notice on appeal within 30 days of the entry, you have forever given up on your right to appeal. Upon request, the clerk will provide you with the standard form of notice of appeal. Any form of post-conviction relief other than direct appeal such as personal restraint petition, a habeas corpus petition, and a motion to vacate judgment, a motion to withdraw a guilty plea, and a motion for a new trial, usually must be filed within one year after the judgment becomes file. final. A motion for arrest of judgment must be served and filed within five days after the verdict or decision, which is effectively what we just argued today, or the attorneys just argued today and they ruled on. Uh, I will have some paperwork for you of when you are to report uh, you'll need to take that to talk to your attorney and take that to the jail. You will not be admitted into jail without the paperwork. Do you have, if you do not appear at jail at that reported time, a warrant will be authorized for your arrest. It will likely be in the amount of no bail, uh, mm -hmm. which means you cannot post bail and you'll be taken oh. into custody. And that very well could have other criminal consequences if you fail to appear. Does anybody have any question as to yeah. my sentence? In Ohio, we might actually call that escape, but I don't think so. I think from the defense, Your Honor. I have a question. Oh, you knew oh, it. Oh, God. By your attorney first. Be careful. I um, don't want to go to jail right no, now. No. Um, <laughs> His attorney said, careful, you don't want to go to jail right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what we'd be Lovely. saying. Lovely. I knew Glenn couldn't keep quiet. Basically, there's a video of the incident. No one has ever wanted to see the video, the whole encounter. That's and the most I think for that's your attorney to make. The most credible evidence you can see. So, that's I mean, an, that's that's for so your attorney to make. That is something you can talk to Mr. Jones about. Mm -hmm. Yep. You will, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, once the clerk gives you the paperwork, you are excused. Uh, appear at your other court hearings, which apparently you already are aware of, the other court dates for early next month. And then take this paperwork up to the front counter with Mr. Jones. He'll help you with that. <coughs> what is the next matter that is ready? That's it. Okay, there's no more well, from him. Hold on. The city's ready on... Okay, yeah, nothing. Just making sure he didn't say anything else. Right, yeah. I was like, wait a second. Nope, nope, nothing. I love hearing God, him so upset. I honestly think there's some mental issue with him, or like some like social issue or something like that. I, I don't think this is just pure hatred and idiocy. Mm -mm. It's not saying that excuses anything. That does not excuse his behavior whatsoever. I, 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 I don't know. I, I... Cliff, what were you saying? So I would say it's been suggested he has antisocial personality disorder. Oh yeah, could be something like that. Yeah, that would explain a maybe, lot. but it would explain a lot. I but mean, some I people think he's would just say a bitch. some people would say oppositional defiancy. Oh yeah, um, I, I but just is saw that in the chat pop in? But is that an excuse? No, 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 no. no. Not, I'm not saying any of that excuses him. I'm just saying that it, the, like this is the only reason I could understand. For his behavior, because his behavior is so off the wall, right? right. So insanely, but like, and it well, always is, yeah. And I can't tell if he's doing it just for the views, which he doesn't get, or if he actually has some kind of mental disorder, or as you said, like social disorder or something like that. Right. I I, I don't know. 
Uh, no, uh, no one's gonna know because no. Yeah, and I'm not saying he does. I'm just saying I wonder if. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, we gotta do super shots because there's gotta be. We a gotta time. get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We've been yeah. going four and a half hours. Yeah, I think I actually need to hit it myself. Yeah. Same. Me too. So, All right. so thanks for having me on Schrodinger, as always. Love uh, you. Marvel, you're great. Radical, I didn't get to talk to you much, but hi. And Cliff, as always, you're great. Um, thanks, man. Thanks for having me on, guys. Seriously. Thank Love you all. Yeah. Thank Night. you, Bye. All right. Super chat. All right, Stephen Alley for two dollars says earrings too, not two earrings. Yeah, I got, got that, that. Yeah. mixed up. Jesus. Sorry, um, Michael Krause for four ninety nine says I'll record a roast for AMG for next week and email it. LOL. I'm sure I can come up with something. Any requests? No. No. Just go with your heart, my friend. Hey, <laughs> I didn't say people could email shit in. <laughs> Jesus. I thought you guys loved me too. Go ahead. Um, hey, the adults are talking for five dollars. Says I'm pretty sure someone promised me a rant from Glenn at the end. Well, you got one. Yeah. Uh, get Mrs. C the damn necklace and earrings. Oh, for fuck's sake. Go ahead. Uh, Stephen Alley for two dollars says it's okay, Cliff. You're Canadian. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Aaron Rod for ten dollars says, "I want to thank Radical for being polite for Cliff tonight and me last Aww. night. He is the consummate knight. Also, SC he take is. Mrs. SC to IKEA. Oh, I love IKEA. Got inflatable. Isn't it cam amazing that that the Dutchman is more polite than the Canadian today? <laughs> uh, this is opposite land. Pretty no, polite. You, you, you know he's polite. You stood up for him. Is what you what she's saying." I haven't heard you utter one single dick flute this entire time you've been here. They I know. Just built, it's such a, it's so, such a disappointment. They, they just really built is. a an, a huge Ikea here, um, like 10 miles from where I live. Oh, like, man. It's gigantic. <sighs> yeah, I, I used to live like love two miles Ikea. from one. Oh, no, it, it's huge. Restaurants and they all have everything. Them. Yeah. Right. Um, so wait, wait. wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. The reason I, I I I just found a video where a guy does a reverse traffic stop, I'm gonna go up tomorrow, yeah. uh, just to answer kick. I censored a lot of stuff in that video, just testing out something. <laughs> so that's why I am now censoring. I guess this I don't censor. This was, it's yeah. censoring in the funny way because this guy is like a machine gun version of. Uh, Profanity. It's I want more of the the um Oompa Loompa more. A potent for more. You're, yeah, he yeah. Uh, kind of stopped doing videos. Did he? Fuck. Yeah. You, you Maybe he got in trouble. Rat. You're gonna get an email, Radical. Be like, you said you would never censor. You're a cello. <laughs> yeah, you will. Yeah, I did it in a funny way. I mean, at some point, he just has like five words in, I think, maybe a span of two seconds. So. I use the I, I don't use the beep uh, sound this sound. I use the 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 clown horn. So yeah, it, that is just about to say that you use the clown horn. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Can't wait. All right. Good. Uh, sorry. Inflatable KMH for five dollars says I just want to thank Boss Cat, his crew, and the panelists for such an epic live stream and the work they do. Love you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. I just kind of showed up. Yeah, <laughs> it's always better with a radical in the mix. Go ahead. Uh, Stephen Alley for two dollars says, "Being on probation, does he know? How, does he now have to produce ID?" Oh, he will, right? He's got to be good. Yeah, <gasps> I would dare say so. Oh, I love it. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't have ID. Uh, you're violating your probation, Mister Serio. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, here, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Cajun Ease for ten dollars says, "So who's the front runner to pick up Glenn Slack while on probation?" All of them. Go ahead. Yeah, they move in like vultures. Um, hey, the adults are talking for five dollars. Says, as Radical would say, "Why is the Glenn doing the dumb right now?" Uh, <laughs> I would. The yeah. Glenn Meister. Good. Uh, Fact YouTube for five dollars. 
But I bet he tries to sneak in a camera to do prison audits. They have them in there already, so he'll probably upload something or try to. How many cameras do you think he can fit in his prison wallet? Oh boy, he could fit like an actual. Make that a chat poll. He could actually make that like he could get one of those real filming cameras up there. Wait, he can get an entire like a camera crew camera. there. Yeah, oh, but, yeah. Uh, like can Vic just requested something uh, from the Schrodinger chat man here? I got, um, I'm gonna have to do it from. Let's see if I can do that from here. You no, gonna I do can't. the poll? I can't. No, you got, I gotta you gotta sign be in, in the original him. chat. Yeah, yeah, I, I tried got... to tag you. I tried to tag you. You guys are all hiding out in this. Uh, this I'm in uh, Streamyards. I can't help it. Thing. I can't tag any one of you. Well, oh, you can you. DM me. Duh. No, 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 no. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. T see, kick us in here. See, kick us in here. Yeah. Well, yeah. kick's probably uh, watching the real one. Throwing a cat us in here, huh? I you gotta know? pee. Can we please go on? No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna right. call you out. No, 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 no. Come on, come. On. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Caucasian sensation for five dollars says, "OMG, kick! I would gladly sweat my ass off in mop level four to follow Glenn around. Sign me up, brother." Yeah. I'll try. All right, see, we got people that are going to come with us. And uh, Devil's Advocate for $5 says, Necklace and Earrings Fund. Yay! All right. And that would be it. All right. Okay. Sign off. Um, yeah, so let's go around the room. Let's start with uh, Kick, I guess. Hey, uh... Really appreciate being up here. Um, oh my goodness! You know what? Little one, little one, hold on. Put it say down hi. And see. Say it hi. Sounds hi. like somebody's getting attacked. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hello. This is, this is the littlest kicklet and the oldest kicklet. They've come to say hello. So say cute. hello. Hi. Say say oh. hi, cat. Hi, cat. Say hi, AMG. Hi. Oh hi, hi, Radical. Hi, There you go. Hello. Hi, Cliffy. Say hi, Cliffy. Yeah, cat, cat, cat. All right, now say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> no, no, say bye-bye. I got to go. Go on. I go with Dominic. Die. That's so cute. All right. Bye-bye. Well, <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> no, 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 wait. Take your stuff. You go. Try to say oh, my Cliff God. You got... <laughs> go to someone else. <laughs> oh, my God. I've always said I could. Uh, I've got a boy. I could never have daughters. I, I couldn't. No, they're not the best. I I would. You'd I'd be in jail. Spoil the hell out of them. Well, uh, yeah, I I would just spoil <sighs> the hell out of them, and I would be in jail. I I don't how you do it. You're a better man than me. Kick. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know how I do it either. Uh, thank God that uh, it's been found out. My short term memory is shot. So if I if my long term kicks in, I'll let you know how I did it. <laughs> uh, there needs to be studies like done on how um good men raise daughters because I, I i couldn't do it i, I tell you to talk to my dad but he's gone now so i've, I've got two I, I have three total but two two are daughters and um i gotta tell you it's it's they're not old call. enough yet so like when they're they get all... a teenager and a boyfriend first boyfriend <laughs> you're gonna <sighs> lose it stop I, I, stop I, I, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, just let, let him say good night. Let, let the man yeah, alone. Let him say good night. I've let, already got the toddler throwing the door open again. Thanks so much for having me on the panel. I love being here. I love coming on to these law talk panels, even though I'm not a lawyer. And hopefully, one day when I do become a lawyer, I'll be on here to give out some legitimate lawyer ease. Otherwise, y'all yeah, I... have a great day. Thank you so much. Uh, good night, Kick. Thank good you, Kick. kick. Thanks, yeah, Juan, Juan Galt just said, what the fuck, going for three hours? Sorry, I missed so much. Damn, sorry, I missed so much. Yeah, we're sorry I missed it too, Juan. Love you. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even want to go this long tonight. I wanted to go to have some sleepy time. I'm oh, wait, one more super chat. Yeah. Uh, hey, the adults are talking for $5. Says, love the kicklets. Everybody oh, knows. They're God, adorable. Yeah. I, I, right. I, just, I just can't with... Uh, no. I, I, Let I, everybody say goodnight. I gotta pee. <laughs> I've been drinking <laughs> coffee over here. <laughs> Let us go. Okay, right school. Say what you gotta say. Get the fuck out. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
<laughs> this is uh, some nostalgia right there. But you know, I just jumped in to have some fun while encoding a video. So encoding a video that is uh, putting get together a video, uh, Marvel Girl. She always asks me that. I don't know why. We're still roasting her. Yes. Um, no, yeah. We're, we're, next we're, week. We are... Can you just hold it off for next week, please? It can't. We're all roast you every day. Yeah. yeah, I do get it every day though. But yeah, just hanging out with you guys is fun. This is the first time I was on a Law and Disorder uh, video stream. I invite you. You yeah, are well, too you know, busy. You know, sometimes I, I have time. Sometimes I don't. Well, most times I don't. <laughs> so do I get the fuck out of here now? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can kick you if you want. Oh, they kick me. I, I, wanna, I want you to do it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> He's gone. All right. All right. Um, other Cliff. All right. Uh, once again, thanks for having me. I had a lot of fun. Uh, love everyone out there and have a great night. All right. Uh, boot the fuck out of him. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Cliff. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I can't kick myself, though. Um, I'll kick you. I Oh yeah, kick me. That, that. All right, say good night. Um, well, um first. Um don't drag it out. I got to pee. Seriously. Okay, you got to pee. So go ahead and kick me and you at the same time. All right. Night everybody. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs>